thought we already recorded that. No. No, no one said anything. No one else introduced mm. themselves or nothing. You just introduced yourself. So I have to re record the opening? Yep. Yeah. What did I even say? <laughs> well, hello again, heathens. This is Barakas, and you're listening to Chicks with Crits. Hi, this is Alicia, and I'm playing Barakas, your tiefling druid. And I'm playing Keo, your wondrous bard and, uh, and resident good boy. And this is Caitlin, playing your awesome rogue Iron Mesh. This is Akila, wondering if those, if that is an accurate description of our rogue. And I play uh, Ran, our druid, who is very cynical at this point. I am Cheyenne, I am your DM, and I just want to let you guys know, I am free of the common cold that sadly has claimed three of my four players. Mine technically was a full 39 degree pizza. So yes, three of us are in the sniffly cold. So this is what you- I'm almost cured! This is what you fleshy creatures refer to as a cold. <coughs> I do not approve. Kyo does not approve. We'll do our best to make sure it doesn't interfere, though. You know what can clear that up? Have some peppermint schnapps. <laughs> well, I would, but I... And some cinnamon whiskey. Kind of hard when you don't have a mouth. True. True. Well, <laughs> oh, we could just drill a hole. Please do not drill into my face. We say we won't let it distract, but we all know what's going to happen here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, when you guys last left off, you guys had defeated Marcus. Made your way back went into the farm, helped out there. And you guys have finally... Come back to Bearburg. We're on our way to Bearburg. We're <laughs> already at Bearburg, dear. Bring back, bring back my peppermint schnapps to you. <laughs> and actually, you guys have, are actually inside the trusty bear inn. Uh, Red and Barakas, you two, uh, decided that before you get to rest, you were gonna go and try and collect uh, your the bounty um, for the yeah. body. We don't yes. want to lug around the body. Yeah, it should be well, hopefully around two hundred gold. And uh, Keo, you immediately went to the uh, what is it notice board to see if you could help anyone else out. And Iron Mesh, we don't know what you want to do right now. It's none of your goddamn business. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go for a bath. <laughs> <laughs> or some smiles at you this way, please. Would you like bubbles or? Is that even a question? <laughs> yes! Or Bubbles! Or is he just looks, he just nods. He's like, alright then, this way, my lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And you see Orison lead uh, Iron Mesh off, like, towards the back of Iron the Mesh tavern. Iron Mesh break her apart. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Keo, you immediately ran over to the menu, but uh, menu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to know what this, so. Uh, food is and why do you guys eat it hmm this is enigma i'm going to the message board not the food board <laughs> oh, wait, why am i supposed to gather this i'm supposed to make my own meal <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. but yeah you go up to the message board thank you and you see there's a lot of ads for like you know different types of messages you know shiatsu deep tissue oh no, wait that's the massage board you want the message board <laughs> you, you scoot oh. over to the left <laughs> And there it is, the message board. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible joke. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> and on the side, there's a, there's an, there's an old looking uh, note, and it says, "Looking for babysitter for twelve children." And just underneath, "Please, dear God, I need to sleep." Is now written underneath it. And then, of course, you see there's another notice for a uh, forest arsonist again put up there. Well, we've already done that, so I will take uh, the babysitter. And, uh, save that for a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a, another notice. Bacon at Breakery. Uh, bacon? At bacon? Breaking. A break-in at the bakery. <laughs> Need help <laughs> looking for supplies and the culprit. All right. Oh, like I am is hungry. I, 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 okay, maybe just mean. a little bit. <laughs> and then at the very uh, bottom, there's a, a new looking one. Wanted. Group to look for pheasants. And underneath you see a familiar name. Pheasants Roger. or peasants? Pheasants. <laughs> yeah, Cotter. I will take both of them. All the right. so bacon, bacon in the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon and the pheasants. <laughs> as well as the babysitting of the 12 kids, because if we ever run out of money, I think we can get a good price for babysitting 12 kids. <laughs> <laughs> Barakas is not included in this. <laughs> Why? Tiny hands. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vietnam flashback. Vietnam flashback. Herps flashback. But yeah, Kia, so now you have, what is it, the, you've taken those four with yourself. So you have those three. And since Iron Mesh is taking a bubble bath, it is very satisfactory. Oh, the yes. bubbles are great and floating everywhere. I got my rubber ducky. Mr. Ducky. Does it look Mr. like Iron Mesh? Mr. Ducky. <laughs> Five minutes <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying yourself. There's like a little bowl floating around, like your bathtub full of crackers too, complimentary crackers. There better be sausages on there too. You know what? Sausages and also some cheese. Yes. <laughs> be careful There's the candles cheese, everywhere. I have a glass of wine. I've never been this fancy in my life. <laughs> this nice. Yeah, no, it turns out being the main inn, you get some good perks. Especially when Orson is charging uh, Roger up the ass for this. <laughs> It's on his tab, it's good. <laughs> exactly. But bar costed red. You guys are outside now. Um, yeah, no, you take a look at the notice. Mark you guys have Marcus's, you know, ask for help, but then you also have, you know, another thing for um another notice for the forest arsonist. And to the, collect the reward, you need to go to uh the, the Lord's office, it says. And to speak with Roger. Hey, Ray I, Ray. I have Marcus slung over my shoulder. Wait. Like a sack of potatoes. Shouldn't Iron Mesh go see Roger? Because the last interaction we had was Too fantastic, late. wasn't it? It's too late. <laughs> too late. You're busy with your little <laughs> bubble bath. You guys don't We've want Iron left. Mesh to come with you? Too late. Come on. Too late. The last interaction no. was highlight. You're soaking in those suds. You cannot too late. take back what you've already decided. With no, Mr. Don't no take backsies. With Mr. Like, Duck I don't want Iron Mesh to go with you. I wonder why. <laughs> Secret <laughs> meeting. Especially Red. Hello. Hey, at least uh, the trusty Baron has a fabulous door carved by yours Ooh. truly. <laughs> Secret meeting. Brightening a we child. Need to fix it. Flirting with random person across the road. Oh yes, and, and above all else, secret freaking meeting. <laughs> and scary so what you're child. saying? Oh, oh, and the blatant horrible lie of lieness that Red still standing there of the I almost believed it, but I didn't know the real reality of it. <laughs> you're an amazing actress. Hey, what can I say? But they're like, taking a bubble the bath. Yeah. Okay. And Keo's trying to remember all of his, uh, you know, uh, stuff before. Now, how do I take care of children again? <laughs> hmm. Going through his memory files. <gasps> I know that they remembered. <laughs> uh, I know they enjoyed a <coughs> puppet show. Search deep in those floppy disks. You shall not mention the floppiness of dicks. Are you sure it's not dark dot dot cards? <laughs> error, error, error. Do not insert the floppiness of disks. Or your binary code notes. Okay. Or, you know, just memory, because I have memories. I want you to uh, roll a d20 for me. I'm sure Iron Mesh commit that floppy disk card Add your wisdom to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Unnatural discuss, twenty. Do we need to go back to our discussion from earlier about coming? <laughs> you absolutely do remember how to take care of children. Your mind flitters back to the beautiful twins, the silver hair of the pretty princess, and the beautiful deep orange of the prince. Oh, you're lost in sad, bittersweet memories. And then it dawned on me. I wonder why the prince had orange hair when his dad and mom had dark hair? <laughs> no, actually, the queen had orange hair and the king, he had uh, silver. Well, he had gray hair, which is different from the princess's silver hair. What's wrong, Iron Mesh? Are you okay? I think she's trying to say time out here. I'm sorry. Just the way like, his beautiful orange hair. <laughs> I think we now know our DM's favorite color and that her dream man By the way, hair. can I say oh, one I thing? Remember funny. when I bugged you about earlier about your introductions? What did I ever say? It was Megan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? You once again did not say this is Megan. You just said, <laughs> I'm playing Keo. <laughs> you totally skipped they over just... what I was bugging you about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're still. Recording. I don't know what's up with me. I'm just really giggly now. It's, it's like because you're a... sick and dying. <laughs> Quit laughing. You're gonna get yourself nauseated. But we will pause. Please. Seriously. Hold on. Now back to our originally. Oh my fucking god. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. 
We apologize. There was some grooming that needed to be done on some doggos. It went from like, oh, bathroom break to let's cut all of our, let's groom our dogs. Hey, I didn't groom Azaru. Just Bailey and Jack. George. George didn't get groomed either. Uh, How do you groom George? He's so (laughs) short-haired. He needs a bath and he's got these really long whiskers that stick out. I can see, I can see that, yeah. Anyways, Red Varakas kills. You guys are okay. headed now, what is it, to the Lord's office to go talk with Roger. With Marcus slung over kills. my shoulder like a sack of potatoes. Yes, he's still wrapped up in the canvas though, right? Yeah. The tent? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're not, no. They have a bit class. <laughs> For far across the sake, that's a little bit of class. I may be a hermit, but I do know how these weird cities run. Indeed, and speaking of knowing how they run, Red, you 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 probably already know the basic layout of the town. I mean, with your wonderful memory. Hasn't Never. been it hasn't been long enough for you to forget, so Well and and I can't get lost. No. And as <laughs> you and as you're leading Barakas throughout the city, uh, what's your passive perception like? I think it's like fourteen. Mine's thirteen. Yeah, fourteen passively. Fourteen, yeah. That's actually pretty good. Um, no, just as, as you're walking, uh, you know, some people are starting to look at you, Red, just like a, a little bit. So they're, yeah, they're all just kind of like staring at you and pulling the yeah, a little You kind of recognize uh, some of the people from when you decided to do your magical porridge thing in the at the church. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, and then they're all staring at you, and there's like a couple of whispers. And uh, eventually, like a little kid who like kind of like runs up to you and bar across, hi, I'm glad you're back, and then quickly like runs away again. Seems that people have started to notice you, Red. <sighs> just, just pulling the hood a little lower, <laughs> and just, just maybe a little faster walking. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, Barfest, you kind of notice that there's like some people kind of looking at you, like wondering like, what on earth it is that you're carrying. Can I roll for intimidation? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You bench press that dead body. I rolled a nat twenty. So, so the evil glare of glare has got it. Yeah, no, you, like, glare, or, like, you just whip around and start glaring at people, and people just start to look kind of, like, uh, All they see is these away. red eyes from the <laughs> darkness of the hood. <laughs> yeah, no, people are quickly, uh, running off from you. And you guys are making your way there, down there towards, uh, was it, well, the Lord's house. That's what you remember. You don't exactly know where the Lord's office is. But once you arrive at the house, you actually see a familiar guard is standing in front of it. Hey, guys! Doth is standing with a big smile on his face. What's up? Dwarf, right? Yes, he is a dwarf. Uh, we're looking for the Lord's office. Do you know where that is? Oh, yeah, it's just on, like, the... It's actually just a block to the west. It's just right next to the house. I'll I'll show you guys. Hey, uh, so, uh, where's your, uh, friend, uh, you know, the tall drink of water? Where's she right now? He's, like, looking around, hoping to see the beautiful eyelash. In the bathtub. (laughs) <laughs> really? He just kind of like looks away for a moment. Right, right, right. Let, let me show you to the Lord's office. Really? Are his pants a little snug <laughs> now? I couldn't even. I, couldn't I just this. picture this. Uh, I just picture the dwarf just found himself with the handkerchief. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, well, he's a dwarf. So it's probably ha- found himself with his weapon. Or with his beard. <laughs> yeah, oh. bearded. <laughs> he's lifted up his beard. <laughs> But he's like, you're <laughs> But as he's walking you down towards the Lord's office, he's like, you guys have picked a busy day to head over here. There's been a lot of unhappy people lately. What happened now? Well, as it turns out, the uh, treasury's kind of run dry. Apparently there was a big robin, uh, big, you know, break in here. I didn't get to know that, but apparently that's what happened, you know, the night where, like, the sun and the moon were being all weird. The Equinox thing. What have to do with that? There was a. Uh, you guys didn't hear this from me. There were some ogres that came through the city. Yeah, just a few days ago, they uh, went to go talk with uh, Lord Bar and Roger, and uh, things have not been very good since. I don't see ogres. Yeah, I really don't like ogres right now. Mm-mm. You know, the whole city's kind of freaked out. And what's worse is, again, you didn't hear it from me. They were wearing an old sigil 
of a, of a house that was uh, taken, you know, like t 10 years ago. Yeah, the, the Lord and Lady there, they, uh, they didn't make it, but, like, we thought that their entire line had been wiped out. Apparently these ogres are now walking around with their family sigil. I don't exactly remember where it was, but a couple days away, but this is not good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, they won't come back. But here you guys are. And, uh, yeah, he, Doth points to the to the Lord's office, and, yeah, I know there's a, a line of a couple people ahead of you, and they do not look happy. Particularly, <coughs> there's, like, a dude, like, kind of, he's, well, actually, r roll perception for me. Both of us? 20, Nat. I guess just right. red. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't bother. No, it looks like there's like yeah, there was a three guys that look like they might be brothers. They're kind of dressed in like construction. <laughs> was it uniforms? There's was it some like disgruntled like young looking woman holding like a flyer and you kinda of look at it, it's like, you know, like babysitting. Something about babysitting twelve children. And then there's like a guy who kinda of smells really nice, like vanilla. I was letting you notice, uh, was he still a flower on not his so nice. <laughs> not to you. He smells like sweets. And yeah, and you notice he's got like flour on his oh, shoes. Red already and... knows the word baker. I remember that. Baker. And actually, <laughs> as you kind of look at this guy, yeah, you recognize him. He's, of course, much older now, but he's an old baker that you used to know. You didn't work not, for him. Not, not, okay. Okay. No, <laughs> no, you didn't work for him, but you know. Bakers. <laughs> yeah, no, bakers, they know each other. And yeah, I know, and they're standing oh, shit. Uh, ahead of you, just just waiting at, like, a, a door. And of course, the door opens, and you guys uh, see Roger, and he's like, all right, all right, he's like, okay, um, the three brothers, uh, did you know, please come in, the door, like, quickly closes. And, you know, you could hear, like, some yelling and all that for about, like, 15 minutes, and then the three leave, and it seems that they have some gold. Like, the young girl, she quickly runs up to the door. Like, a minute passes, and Roger's pushing her. I was like, I'm not the one who's supposed to pay you for this. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know it was on the notice board, but it shouldn't have been. We cannot pay you for this. Right now. And then he looks at the baker, and he just kind of sighs. We will send another guard to your bakery. I apologize. And then he looks at you and Mark. <laughs> I'm doing this so the baker don't recognize me. I'm pulling the hood down as far as I can. <laughs> now the baker kind of just looks at it, like just kind of briefly looks in your direction and just walks away. He looks pretty upset. <sighs> but, uh, you know, he looks to you and Mark. Ah! Red. So about Nowhere. The arsonist. <laughs> the arsonist. Pointing at the bundle. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We have a long story. Come in. You we can... fixed your problem. Um, you can set him in the corner, please. Uh. Right. So, let's, let's start from the beginning for you. I toss him <laughs> into the corner, like a bag of potatoes. Roger, just kind of, oh my, okay. You're not, you're not gonna like this one at all. So, this, this guy, uh, you probably know him from this quest, handing him the one for the, uh, uh, the Taily Po one. Yeah, yeah. the Taily Po one. Yeah, Roger was just like, I did approve. Tally Po, Taily Po. So, in order <laughs> to lure said creature, he was using all of the sacks, gently putting them down, uh, and, and claimed this would help us run away. So, I also, probably also, let's throw an attempt at murder here. Um, the creature he was hunting is, I guess you could say, sort of a guardian. Only shows up, you know, when the forest is in dire straits. Mm. So he put the forest in dire straits. It wasn't happy. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Roger, he's sitting down now. So. Staring at all the explosives on his desk. <laughs> There's only about, I think, four, because I had one, he had three on him, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well then. It's like, and, um. No, that would do it. Yeah, it, it, uh, let's just say um, you might have some difficulty recognizing him. I think I believe you. Um, yeah, no, this is an amazing thing. I will take the notice from you. <laughs> uh, well, he can pay you. No, obviously. And on the subject of payment, I can give you, well, he, he looks at the notice, 200. I can give you 100 
today, and in about two days' time, I can give you the other hundred. I'm fine with that. Uh, I also happen to find a ton of papers in the cab, and I don't know if there are anything of importance, but... Oh. Roger, that might... takes the papers from you. I can go through these and figure out if this is a bigger conspiracy or not. It's like, well, it also might even tell you the patterns of the animals, <laughs> so you don't, you know, have any other ways to go to save the stunt. Mm. And cause this guy to wake up. He he nods solemnly, <laughs> and he looks exhausted. One day, <laughs> absolutely. So you guys know of the break, and you're helping investigate that. Yeah. Two days ago, an ogre lord by the name of Benji, he showed up claiming to own a whole bunch of property. Here. He had the deeds to many places. Ogres have names? This one does. Hmm. Where he was bearing the sigil of an old dead family as well. <laughs> We've sent some people to scout ahead, and yeah, no, apparently the old castle's been taken over by the ogres. And they have proof that they own shops and businesses here now, and I can't help but think that's part of the robbery. The Lord's oldest son is still missing. The youngest one ran away a week ago to find his brother because no one else was doing anything. I am losing my hair, and it's so stressful because I can't. We can't pay the workers as much as we need to, and we've had to send for aid now. For him while he's talking, <laughs> and he's just like he's just like sitting there, just like leaning against his chair now. In good fairies. <laughs> Lo looks at the body on the ground. Oh, of course. Just insane. Just an insane amount of things. Well, that's two off your list, at least. Yes, and also, you. That's not me. You made a big splash with uh, the city. Oh, no. With never-ending porridge. You did it to yourself. It made good information gathering, okay? It has definitely caught my eye of the Lord, though, wondering why the mysterious heroine Red has returned, along with an old royal guard, wearing, by the way, a talbird made of the old king's flag. I, I would like, like to um, point out to you, you did say you wanted us to get notice. Yes. And believe me, Everyone is noticing now. Just so you know, I've only done as you asked. Even though, you know, I don't want to be noticed, right? The Lord wants to meet you in a day's time. Does it have to be me? You and your group, of course. I've told him... My group? <laughs> of what's going on. Oh, yes, your group. The one, he pulls out a bill from his drawer. The one that's costing me money out the ass. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting this! <coughs> um, if I remember correctly, you're the one who told me. I did. I did. I did tell Orson to put it on my tab. Orson's been actually telling us which rooms we're staying in, what amenities are available to us. Mm -hmm. He hasn't actually told us how much anything costs. He installed. And he said something about <laughs> giving us feasts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> By the way, do you have any idea how much a Goliath eats? I hope <laughs> like Roger just got this out leave. <laughs> leave me. You know? Somewhere in her more. bathtub iron mesh she's just I'm sneezing, I'm like, I'm what is going tea. on? Drink, drink the tea, Roger, for the next person. It 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 will calm you. He's grabbed the tea and he's just like chugging it, and as you embark us are actually leaving now, you guys notice a familiar tabaxi concert. He's standing in front of the door now, a big smile on his face holding up a notice. Red! Door, 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 door. <laughs> Hi, Red! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you, you guys have made it, finally made it back in town? Oh, my God! I am so excited! I can't believe it. Was it? Okay, Matthias is gonna lose his damn shit. Holy fuck. This is why I do not stay in cities. <laughs> yeah, Why hey, are you here? Oh, uh, well, well, at the farm, it's like... They didn't need us anymore. Me and Matthias kind of just work there as a, you know, like whenever they need us. Shit, we came back to the city. Well, I don't, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, 
the Forbidden Forest type thing where you guys, well, like, like the Versus. old kingdom. Yeah. Uh, animals have returned. It seems well, lively again and less dead. It's amazing. Uh-uh. And like, and you guys show up being all heroes and slaying demons. I've been telling everyone, you guys are awesome. And like, and so I, I, you know what? Be like, just covering his mouth. You, you've been telling everyone. We did what? He pushes her hands away. You, you, you're fighting demons. You guys did that at the farm and everything. And then he like looks over to your bar and says, "You guys are amazing." And like, I was since like the animals have returned. I was hoping I could do like some hunting. I haven't noticed. It got notarized. I want to thank the, the sad-looking elf in there. Baraka <laughs> slaps his face with his palm and then takes a long draught of his pepper schnapps. Yeah. No, where's the rest of the guys? The Goliath's in the tub. Uh, I have no idea what Keo's doing. The tub. Oh, is that like at the Trusty Bear Inn? There's like a new sign there and everything. They have like a bathhouse in the back now. <laughs> Seems like uh, Orson's going up in the world. Uh, okay. That's what we're saying. The door so 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 the poor elf behind can no longer hear him. You hear a loud sobbing, <laughs> <laughs> and there's just a dead body in my corner now. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. I'm just like ugly crying. I'm just not having a good day. I'm but... gonna leave a sign on the door that says "Come back in an hour." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Carter has a big small space, so if you guys are gonna be staying there too. We might as well head on back. Hey. I like to clarify something. What time of day is it? Um, I'm gonna say you, it's it's around noon now. Yeah. I'm gonna head to the blacksmith and see if I can like procure some like armor to help me, you know, not be uh, not be as like. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it right now because my brain refuses to work. Scratchy. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I don't want to get my carapace like all scratched up, so I I'm, I'm right. gonna see how much carapace, armor would work. When did you turn into a insect? Because I have a hard shell that is my skin, it's a carapace. And then I have like all the other weird stuff underneath. What is your armor, by the way? I have leather armor. Leather armor? Yep. Alright. So like even if it's like a helmet or like, yeah, like how much gold cauldron. Do you have? Oh. That's really nice. That's right. I forgot how much you're currently going. red has the money now. I have hundred and forty five dollars, but I'm willing to work for Alright, yeah, no, you find yourself walking down the City streets. Go back to that lovely, or uh, the lovely, the lovely dragonborn. Yes, <laughs> that sketched all my body. Yeah, no, and, and and as you approach, it's like, yeah, no, he he noticed you was outside, and a huge smile on his face, and it's like, oh, my dear friend, hello once again. <laughs> hello, I am in need of armor. I don't have much gold, but I am willing to work. I can definitely help you, and he quickly drags you inside, <laughs> into the back of his workshop. All I can picture is Dragonborn grabbing hands, grabbing Okio, and slowly dragging him into the dark abyss that is the back of his workshop. That's probably exactly what's happening, honestly. And Kyo's like, I accept this as my fate. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And in the back, in his personal workshop, there's like a few helmets. There's one that has these massive horns. It's like sticking up the side, and there's like, was it one that kind of looks like a fish tail on top? It's really ugly if you think about it. And for some reason, it's in gold. It's awful. And there's a couple more regular looking helmets, thankfully as well. Anything with like a sliding face shield? <clears throat> sliding face shield. Yeah, the helmets that go up and then you slide them down and they cover like the mouth area. Face. Uh, yeah. It's a face shield. Me. Uh, there is, th th there is one, but it has this ridiculously uh, obnoxious red feather sticking up the top of it. Hmm. Yeah. I like this. Blue wearing red. <laughs> I like this one. There's a, and then aside from that one, there's like a, a leather hat. It's got little flaps on the side. Hmm. I look at it. I wonder if I could get bar cost wears. I think that'd be cute. But no. <laughs> I take the one with the ridiculously red feather. <laughs> and do you have like any pauldrons, chest plates? He's kind of looking at you up and down. I'm not in your size just yet, but I could definitely work on some. <laughs> okay. Um. But uh, the helmet. How much you want for the helmet? For you, my friend, a hundred and twenty-five gold. Almost three. <laughs> I can give you a hundred gold, and I can work the other twenty-five off. If you want, I can carry some heavy stuff, you know. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, the Dragonborn kinda sounds sexually aroused by that. He is very happy. He's like, well then. He's like, I could always use some more sketches of you, my glorious looking pro. Oh. Alright. Because I'm <laughs> going to need a special request done, if you are capable of doing it. Yes. Ooh. What would you like done to the helmet? And by the way, just so you know, this helmet is a helmet of dark vision. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you put it down, like, click, and then, like, you can see. It is great. It's the first one I've made. Be gentle with it. Oh, I will. <laughs> Sorry, you wanted something added, like, cosmetic, or not a whole lot more I can add to it. It's beautiful the way it is. He smiles so happily at you. I am in possession of a sacred stone of my god. Oh. And I am in needing of a sword. With the gem on the hilt. And basically, cute. Uh, do you have a paper pencil I could sketch the design on? He uh, quickly dives behind his desk and pulls out a pen and paper for you. Alright, I take it and I quickly draw, like, kind of like a circle pommel where the gem would stay with a seven point star okay. inlaid with obsidian. And then the. My brain refuses to work. <laughs> I apologize, dear <laughs> listeners, my brain. Um, the handle, basically your, your average handle, but the guard, probably like a nice like feather wing motif, and then just like a long sword. Not like that, just like the one in the middle. Yeah, like that, but more of like a feather wing motif. We currently have a book that... Akila's holding up a book with swords in it right now. I have a night book. <laughs> it makes, makes trying to figure out what Megan's describing easier. Which That's helps a me a lot. long sword, right? Uh, yeah, that looks like a long... Well, it's a one-handed, so I'm gonna get a short sword, but just it's a narrower one. Yeah. Okay. So it's probably closer to it, more like a fence, fencing yeah. sword. Of. But yeah, the dragon board, he's looking at your design, and he seems super it's excited. He's like, I can talk to... The wonderful. Mm -hmm. I can talk to some wonderful people um, at the uh, church store. Mm -hmm. We can definitely get this done for you. It'll take like a week, though. Okay. And this gem, he's holding it up and looking at it. Basically, the gem, it looks like a dark gem, but there's like... A dark it, blue? Like around dark blue, and as you get closer to the metal, it kind of lightens up into like a nice soft... Sky blue. Not sky blue, but more of like a sapphire blue. His eyes are, like, absolutely twinkling. And as he's looking at it, he's like, you know what? I saw someone else with this gem recently. <gasps> These seem to be, uh, well, I guess quite popular then. Yeah, yeah you can see how popular I point to my forehead. <laughs> he's got, got one embedded in him. <laughs> Bailey agrees. <laughs> but no, your dragon boyfriend, he's, like, staring at the jewel in your forehead. Yeah, no, no, no. I totally saw someone that was a uh, dwarven woman. It was she was like wandering through uh was it the city about a week ago. I I, I recognized it because she had this beautiful dagger on like the side. Although it's like she said that she was a baker, but I don't think she was a baker. But are you, are you okay, my friend? You may not see Kyo's face because it can't move, but all of a sudden the room gets a little sadder. <laughs> Kyo misses his mama. <laughs> yeah, no, the the dwarven woman had just a gorgeous sword and everything. A little bit strange for a woman who, well, a baker. Woman, Bailey but. has the something. Is that sponge? I well, Kyo is like, okay. Uh, do you want me to come in tomorrow to help pay for the helmet? If tomorrow works better for you, my friend. Early in the morning. Yeah, I'll be it here. <laughs> <laughs> Not too early. Indeed. He's got a, like, just a, a huge smile on his face, all of his teeth are like showing he's All I'm picturing is the dragon board version of Willem Dafoe. Oh god. Well Strange Danger. Strange Danger <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh yeah, Kyo will probably be a little awkward in this situation, but okay. He was willing to come in tomorrow, probably around five uh three in the morning. He did <laughs> morning? Were not too early there. <laughs> he did say come early. And to Kyo, that is actually early, because Kyo wakes up at about 2. Alright, then. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but, 
I don't know if you, did you, do you say that in game to your friend, or do you just like smile, I'll be here early and leave? Yeah, I'll be here around, um, I said four, right? Or three? You said three. You said three. Yeah, three in the morning. Oh, so and Drake and Morton is like, yeah, okay, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he was already gone. <laughs> he hopefully thinks that he misheard you, but back at, uh... I'll be it, nice. Three, uh, 3.30. <laughs> but what is it, back at the end, Iron Mesh says that you enjoyed your lovely bath. Oh, yes, I took four hours. <laughs> hey, I needed it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just picturing a wrinkly so pruned iron mesh. Running around the city doing some shopping that I need to do, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you're taking a four hour bath, time has passed, you guys have collected your money. And uh, you guys were actually held up, we'll say, a little bit by some townspeople, again, noticing red. Can I roll for intimidation? Oh, yeah, for sure. Not a nat 20 this time, but it is a uh, 21. 21, yeah, and other people that, after they, like, start noticing Red and come running up, you just, like, turn and glare, and they're awkwardly walking around you guys now. Before I go to near, uh, Taylor. Now. <laughs> right now. You know the city better than I do. I know, but I'm telling you, you're coming with me. <laughs> Is the creepy factor helping? A lot. And so you're looking for a tailor. Yeah. Let's say I've been to the market. Alright, yeah, no, you're walking along the marketplace, there's like the happy little spice woman waving at you. At the end, so there's like, a, when Barakas, what is it, you notice there's a very grumpy looking Azamar man who's just kind of like waddling around, and there's like some creepy looking elf woman beside him. All of, this is mm, just a massive buffet to Barakas. What kind of buffet? <laughs> well, you got the Azamar, you got the human, there's some dwarves. No, 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 you're missing the point. What kind of buffet? Nom, 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 nom. But yeah, no, you just, like, recognize <laughs> some of the old, or uh, some of the shop orders you've seen before. There's, like, the, was it the old man at the general store who sold you, like, your pot and everything. But there's a couple of the, was it, there's, like, the old priest who you asked to set up. It's like, oh, <laughs> just, like, kind of milling around, buying what they need to. And eventually, yeah, no, you notice that there's a, a tailor at the school and Fred. On top. Feline. <laughs> and uh, behind there, there's a little old woman. Oh. Hello. Who this are you today? She seems really short, but you can't really tell if she's like just a really short human. Maybe she's a halfling. Just a really old looking lady. This is in the tailor shop. Yep. Any chance you could do a rush order? Uh, it depends on what you need, young lady. I have this cloak, and I need the inside to be a completely different color. I must be able to flip it around. Hmm. So I need it to be lined with a fabric that's durable that's not red. Not red. What about a nice, uh, she, like, waddles on over to you and grabs her red cloak. It's a heavy fabric. <laughs> heavy worn red fabric. <laughs> but as, uh, she's looking at it, how about, a brown That'd be good. I'll be fine. All right then. You give me ten minutes. She 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 quickly like like without like realizing she's like jumped up and like unclasped it from you. Like, already quickly, gone. It's like thank you. Like, just just like quickly like drags it away, uh, behind I'm like glad the counter. I wasn't getting a different dress. <laughs> into her small little workshop, and you know it's like kind of like awkwardly quiet for a moment. She's just like left you two there to like just surrounded by all the nice like fabrics and stuff. And then, like, you hear, like, this weird, like, buzzing sound. Just all of a sudden there's, like, lights kind of, like, shining through the door. Mm-mm. 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 Yeah, no, and then you nope. just hear the old woman screaming, Jeffries! Jeffries! You see there's another, like, small, really old man just, like, appears out of nowhere, just kind of, like, walks right, like, from behind you, Barakas, which is weird because there was no one there before. And just, like, just quickly, like, runs back. It was almost like they were standing behind, like, under your hood. And then just, like, whoosh, <laughs> running inside. And then, yeah, no, like, Herb's flashback. Herb's flashback. <laughs> didn't touch you. <laughs> yeah, didn't just like, you. Whoosh, just suddenly gone. And then the door opens, <laughs> and the old woman is standing there with her cloak. <coughs> and, yeah, no, on the inside now is a nice dark brown. And, yeah, no, she's looking at you. That was almost nothing. Like, you have no idea what it means to me. 25 gold for rush order. Like, it's like, gives her 30. But thank you. It's like, puts it, goes to put it on. Remembers to reverse it so that she puts the brown on the outside. 
She uh, then turns towards you, uh, Nowhere. Do you need anything? I'm good. All right, then. But I can make anything for you, especially with uh, the help of those horns. I'm really good at new shirts, new cloaks, dresses. I don't know. Anything. We're expanding our inventory. <laughs> and <laughs> Barakas slowly walks out of the store. <laughs> it's like, it's, she's just like nodding and looking at you guys. I can already tell you guys the size. Hopefully we can meet again. And Red is feeling to the point of she's hugging herself a little scared. <laughs> like, and as the door like closes, it's just like an awkward moment. Like, what just happened? Also, your cloak is really warm right now. You don't know why. Like, it's raining and heat slightly. <laughs> I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to pull it down and hope nobody recognizes me with this. Because I'm pulling it fully shut. <laughs> No, and as you do that, it seems like, yeah, no, people aren't really noticing you, just a couple of glances. Zaru. Here and there. <laughs> no baby girl. But no, it seems that you're, no, it seems that you're all good now. But yeah, finally, you guys are heading back to the, the inn now? Yep. Oh, and by the way, Connor, <coughs> the whole time, is just trailing behind you guys. I forgot he was there for a moment. He's just halfway trailing behind you guys. There's no problem with that. Oh, wait, 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 for what, Connor? Yeah. Do not tell anyone about the other color of my cloak. You got it. If you do, you won't like what happens. Turn to a snake. 25 for an intimidation. Yeah. Uh, kind of steps away. His ears go like flat in his face. <laughs> flat against his head. He's like, mm. <laughs> I would like to, after I leave the blacksmith, I want to check out the bakery with the witch. Ow, I just hit my fucking knuckle. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, Kyo, you're holding up the yeah the, the, the bakery notice, and I'm just like I thought you didn't take the bakery. No, I took all three. Yeah, oh, I thought I you took, took two. No, so. I took the babysitting, twelve kids, the pheasant hunt, and the bacon at the bakery. Yes. What is it? Eat help looking for supplies. <laughs> and <laughs> right, that's why I didn't realize you took it. So I'll make my way there, and I'm just gonna question them and see like what I can find. Yeah, no, as you're making your way over to the bakery... Maybe find some, uh, other clues as to my mommy? <laughs> and as you're thinking that, you get to the bakery and you see there would have been a large window, but it's been, uh, Broken. smashed. Yeah, and there's, like, a couple flower, empty flower bags they've nailed to the outside of it to try and keep the wind and dust out. And there's a closed sign on the door. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna just... Examine the broken glass, see if there's, like, any, like, if someone cut themselves, or if it was, like, broken in or out. Okay, roll a perception for me. Yeah, okay. That is a 14. You don't find any fabric or anything, but, uh, except for it looks like a piece of cookie. Just, just kind of lying on the ground. I, take, I pick up the, feet and the little cookie. Huh. This might be a clue. You feel a very strange feeling holding that little piece of cookie. Yeah. You know what? It feels warm. It feels like home. You get another kind of melancholy feel of your mother. You don't know why. And then you remember what your dragonborn friend told you. A strange baker showed up in town. Okay, I take out a little bag and I put a little bit of cookie in there. Yeah, you put the Baby. And they put a reattach it, and I'm like, I know what my purpose is. <laughs> Alright, and so what do you do? Uh, I gently knock upon the door. Uh, you, you knock on the door, and... Knock, 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 You hear, like, a man's voice, go away! We don't want anyone here right now unless you're here to help with my problems! I'm, uh, I'm a paladin, and I saw your notice at the trusty bear inn. The door quickly opens. And yes, is, I am wearing my helmet. <laughs> oh, Red yeah. feather and everything. <laughs> and there's actually the human, not that you know this, but from the Lord's office from earlier in the day. <gasps> and he just kind of like looks at you and like he takes like a big long look at you and quickly slams the door shut. I never had any more help from you! What do you mean, me? You and the dwarf woman, you did this! It must have been you! You're the culprit, aren't you? And he opens the door again. Just I just got it. here! Just, mm -hmm. You're blue. You in weird blueness. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let you relax. I wanna come back with one of my friends to specify that I just got to the city. You 
do that. And he, like, kind of, like, you know, points at his eyes, points at you, slams the door, and he's, like, watching you walk away now from a little window. And I just gently wave back, and I walk away, back to the trusty bear inn. Yeah, yeah, now you guys have all made your way back to the inn. Iron Mesh, you've ended your lovely bath, no, and, yes, right. and Orison is, like, serving you, like, a, a like goose leg sandwich. Like, this is just a massive goose leg between two pieces of bread and some tomatoes. <laughs> Sure, it's a leg and not just the whole goose. <laughs> Brianna, Even you... the last time she had a meal here, are you sure it's not the whole goose? <laughs> Brianna... two, two, lo- two loaves of bread. Oh, yeah, no, you guys yeah. see Iron Mesh sitting at the table, and actually, uh, what, Matthias saw you earlier. And you remember him. He was uh, one of the farm hands at Martha's place, and he's happily gone to sit with you. It's like, oh, it's so cool to see you guys again. He's eating one of the drumsticks of whatever meat run. I smack him on the back. He spits it up everywhere because I just hit him so hard. Like, <laughs> okay, it's good. They're so strong. This Iron Mesh is it's amazing. <laughs> Please, Miss Iron Mesh was my... I guess no one ever was Miss Iron Mesh like a mine. <laughs> oh. Grandmother, grandmother. Papa got around. No, no one was Iron Mesh. <laughs> But yeah, and um, as like you guys are all entering and coming back, and Cotter quickly, happily runs over the house. Hey, look what I found! And there's just like general like happiness now that like you guys have all reunited. And they're they're both happy to see you guys again. Cause you're freaking demon slayers who saved the farm that they used to work at. They do still technically work there, but not right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, and just before I would have switched my cloak around before going back in. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and Orson sees you guys and smells, hey, just in time for supper now. (laughs) Oh, Orson? What's up? Hi, Red. You kind of killed him, the poor guy. He's killing me. (laughs) Really, really, because because from what I heard, you're on the up and up, and and, and he's, uh... Compensation, we'll say, for uh, a secret meeting. Ah, man. Secret meeting? Yeah, a Why would secret you ever meeting. He like lo- he like that. looks to you again. Why would you ever bring that up near that uh, again? I just pay so much to those people. They're trying not to stop crying once you guys left. Anyways, Here, but welcome, welcome back. And you know, still on Roger's side. Oh, my fault. Like, the child has no balls. <laughs> <laughs> that child Salty. needs to learn to get some bravery. My goodness. Speaking of which. Wasn't there, like, some, some issues going around that you were going to look into? I got preoccupied. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, those issues are growing. Uh, okay, as so Kia you walks in. you fixed it yet. I'm on it. Patience. Really? You, you've had a bath, and you, you're, you're eating a goose? Yeah. Uh, so... What, what part of that was fix it? I thought I was getting to it. The right? Next? Right? Uh, getting to the goose. I got that part. Yeah. Now, but what you're fixing? I'll figure it out. Shut up! Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. I'm just at a roadblock at the moment. Oh, so you know there's another theft in the city. No. Or that, you know, there was also somebody who ha- seems to have some of the uh, stolen items. No. So, so shut up. Tell me about that. Is... You're telling me about that. Oh. We shouldn't. Be, we shouldn't have to be doing a fucking job for you. I was taking a bath, leave you alone, and I was gonna go well, figure it out afterwards. You guys just found it before I did. Was that about thefts? Cotter leans in. What's going on? Intriguing. Cotter. Yes. Look shiny. <laughs> oh, uh, Matthias, I think maybe we need to go. And they, he quickly grabs his friend's hand and drags him off. While they're talking, Kyo is just going to sit on his chair because he entered, like, not that long ago. So, yeah. The bakery's had a wonderful little break-in. I know about that. <laughs> I have a lead on that. The Tin Man knows about it, and you don't. Why was... Did you, did, did you really want me not to have a bath? It doesn't make a difference. Shut up. It's not great. Mm-hmm. You have the same stench as before. Not my fault. Your nose is super. <laughs> but you, you, you tell her all the information that Roger. Most of it. The only thing I don't bring up is like loud because we're in a place. I don't bring up yeah. what exactly I'm referring to in stolen. Just that there's ogres that have some of the stolen stuff, supposedly. All right, that's 
and I can't go into detail. But we're standing, or we currently are. <gasps> secret meeting. Secret yeah. meeting. No. Secret meeting. No. Secret meeting. <laughs> secret meeting. If you can find information <laughs> that is useful or retrieve some of said stolen stuff, then yes. So what? <laughs> you need to fi find info that's actually useful. Or some part of what has gone missing. So yeah, we'll go on another stealth mission tonight. How about that? Uh, what Arcos. is uh, your <laughs> perception? Iron. That's a good question. Arcos, please, please tell me you're, you're not tired. By me, I'm a night owl. And I have... Control? Uh, what's all passive what? You, you too, Q. Uh, It's ten plus wisdom. What is your passive perception? So it's ten. Plus yeah, wisdom. twelve. Run well. That's ten. Now, you two guys, you're just, attention. you know, just sitting there thinking you heard, you know, the break and break, break. You guys just really aren't paying attention so much. Uh, Red. No, who had the higher passive uh, 14. perception? 14? 14, yeah, 13. Yeah, Red, do you notice there's something attached to Keo's belt kind of wiggling? Just, just, like, he's got, like, a little sack attached to his belt that's kind of moving a little bit. Keo, what did you pick up? Um, and I walk over and I basically tell her, I scoped out the bakery and I found this little okay, it's moving. That's not good. And it is, yeah. It's it's kind of like wiggling because I pick it up and I'm like, okay, this is gonna sound really weird. No, there is a there's a piece of cookie in here and that is why it's moving. And I hand over the bag with my middle hand, two fingers pressed against my temple because I cannot believe I just said that. I'll take I'll take the bag. I'm going to do uh I guess it's our cabana. I'm just gonna let you know that uh, sense, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna let her no, know that uh basically I felt the same stuff that made me in this cookie. Yeah, you felt like home. Oh, mm. Marcus, I want you to roll for Arcana too. We got a fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, you, uh, Red, you feel, you know, like, yeah, this is definitely a magical cookie. As a, it's also gingerbread. It, yeah, and it's just kind of like getting wiggling getting bigger, around. Or is it just sitting in it? Or is it no, like... It kind of, shape. as you're looking at it, it kind of looks like maybe if it, was, if it was a part of a gingerbread man, it'd be like the foot. It looks really weird. And Marcus, you feel, yeah, you know, you feel energy. It, it, it feels slightly fake-ish. I'm going over to the kitchen for a second. I you follow. I have an empty glass jar. With a lid. Or so just like, uh, yeah, just uh, give me a moment. He, you know, goes into the back and you hear like, and like all of a sudden you hear like a cat, like, scratch, ah, take my jar! And like a jar goes flying out through the door. Uh, yeah, the tabaxi cook. <laughs> but yeah, Orson quickly grabs the jar. Hey, what do you need? What the hell is that? Yeah, that, 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 don't worry about that. Get it out. <laughs> Get it out. Just, uh, screwing the thing. Don't think the cookie uh, in it. Uh, Get rid of that thing. So see it. What the hell? Yeah, it's got a weird fey-ish energy, and it's like, it suddenly hops up, like it's standing up now, and it's like hopping around inside the jar, freaking out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it for a second, see if there's like a direction it's heading. <laughs> I'm watching this too. And yeah, actually, it's, as you stare at it, it looks like it's trying to like hop towards the east. Hop, 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 like we'll, hit the we'll glass and fall back down. That later. Um, Arakas, if you can keep an eye on that one. I will take Kyo and go have a chat with the, the mysterious <gasps> baker. Another secret special stealth mission with Arakas. It's worse than hanging around a child. <laughs> well, and, and Arakas, if Iron Mesh happens to you, know, you know, I don't think we care. Ahem, <clears throat> walks away. <gasps> yeah, so, uh, what, what do you, so we know where Red and uh, Kyo are headed, but what about you, Iron Mesh? Where do you want to head out? So what were the places that were robbed? We went to one already, right? Yeah. The bakery and the Lord's one. Manor. So However, you are now aware of York supposedly close by. We were supposed to have some stolen goods from there, which is what I basically told you, because right. I couldn't tell you in full detail, so I hope your brain caught it. Yeah. Um, and if she didn't get it, we're relying on Barbara. <laughs> yeah, you've, yes. you've I know. I now know together. how terrifying that sounds. And you but. know we're heading to the bakery, so... <laughs> so probably we'll... I think maybe head back to the Lord's Manor to see what we missed. We kind of know more about what we're looking for. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I totally forgot to tell you guys what's the name of all this. And I'm just going to put on <laughs> oh, my sorry. fancy new Wait, helmet. Wait, is it night? 
It should be it stuff is like that. just after supper. You guys had stopped to eat with that and explain what's going on. So yeah, and it's just after supper. The sun is it's it's nice actually. It's a little bit higher, even though it is starting to go down. Red, please roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Not you guys are fine. Not oh, yet. If I put it down, I'd be done with the disadvantage. <laughs> I like the non-disadvantage one. One of those will hold down. All right. So wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, it comes out of a. 13, 14. No, you seem to be fine today. Oh, good. Yeah, as you make your way over with Keo. But Iron Mesh, yeah, you and Barakos are on and, your own little adventure. Yeah, no, you guys made your way back over to Lord's Manor, and Doth is standing there. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Big smile on his face. Hey, Iron Mesh, hey! Snowware! What's up? Snowware. He has a lisp, so be it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, uh, I will kill you in your sleep, my mesh. <laughs> How you do? We're a little busy. I'll come talk to you later. Okay. Wait. What are you doing here at the Lord's Bat? I gotta make sure to ask him still a little bit. Oh, I just you know, hanging around, going for a nice brisk walk after supper. So you told her about the whole uh, ogre situation. You're supposed to be keeping that thumb down low. It doesn't really help if you speak about that in public. Do you guys know about it? It's That's still, still in public, you idiots. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, he knows about it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what are you guys doing here, anyways? Do We're sneaking in. I could just let you in. <laughs> no. We need to be sneaky. Oh. Shut up. Investigation for Rickman. Beat me by uh, the side gate in about five minutes. Hey, you coerced someone into assisting you. That's very sneaky. Yay! He's like, five, five minutes, I'll let you in at the side gate. That's kinda good. Nods me, like, slips in through the front gate. And <laughs> I'm not kinda, gonna lie. I kind of elbowed the bar cost. I did something. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying something, alright? <laughs> I'm gonna say my ship is now officially set. Doth with Iron Mesh. <laughs> Do not deny your dwarven lover. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Apparently he likes very large women. A large and muscular women. I'm, I'm just gonna say, um, no, Caitlin, I will not do that. I prefer my man. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, no, he, like, a couple minutes past, you meet him at the side gate, and he lets you two in. It's like, okay, yeah, so... Um, actually, here is a key. He has, uh, what is it, Iron Rush key? This will lead you in through the kitchen. Just just let them know if you're visiting. Doth says that you're allowed in. So you guys can, you know, in, in go up back up to the little you know, treasury and investigate. Sounds good. Yeah, you know, just, uh, yeah, I guess just gotta keep going outside. Thank you, Diminutive Man. Mm -hmm. This is time for the that one when they're stealthing through the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what's gonna happen. <coughs> We're going to the kitchen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I kick the door open. Hello, fellow people. Ignore her. We have permission to be here. Ah. And yeah, no, and there's Barkos, like, you sound so smooth all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is at the wrist. Go get your gravel. Go get your gravel. He's been. He's a smooth criminal. Go, go, go pick up your gravel. Put back in your Sorry, mouth. I had 18. <laughs> an 18 for charisma. Yeah. No, there's like a couple like halflings there. There's some. Okay. They're like staring at you, Mark. I said, well, oh, no, fuck. there. Well, uh, yeah, no. no. Welcome. Wait, how many of them the are male? Kitchen. Uh, was there's like two male and one female. Herbst flashback. Herbst flashback. Probably not. Don't not worry. No, not no. Not They're bigger. Children. I'm They're gonna bigger. say this now. Their small hands. Everything looks bigger. <laughs> But yeah, they're like, I don't need help with that! <laughs> yeah, he's a tree trunk. <laughs> That's right. But yeah. Did an anaconda you. don't. Yeah, no, they're gonna look at you, so what's going on? Duh. We're good. See you later. Official <laughs> business. Oh. Well, need well, to know only. Oh, so, all right then. Well, the guys will let you it well. And now I take my gravel. <laughs> and that is how you do it. <laughs> The secret. <laughs> Never do that I'm voice sorry, in front of Kia because it'll be like, oh my. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the Halflings kind of, or they kind of look at you. Oh, yeah, here's the servant's way so you guys can just get around without. If you guys are investigating things, and if you, it must be official, so. You should definitely try and give them a better voice. But yeah, no, the, the lady, she's like, yeah, so I guess 
you guys will take the servants' quarters and I'll let you go through quickly since you guys are investigators. Yes. To keep the soul down low. Alright then. Good for you guys. So we're entering the servants' quarters. I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, like the, the <laughs> servants' passage. Yeah. So I'm wearing in there and I'll hear. Da, 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 da. Roll for intimidation. Nineteen intimidation. I glare at Iron Mesh. Um, give me a will save. Iron Mesh. What am I like? Yes. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Seventeen. Seventeen. You're a little bit intimidated by Barakos right now. You just have to turn down your theme song just a smidge. Right when you hit that. <laughs> Internalize it. So I'm still doing the dance as I go down. <laughs> yeah, I'm still <laughs> dancing the way. Again, I want to see the performance on this because I want to know if she looks like. Oh bird. no! Uh oh, Azura's heading that way. Don't worry. Nope. I don't know where it is. I'll turn. I'll turn on my light. Don't worry. Find it. We're missing a die. Oh no. Well. One dog here will eat the die, so yeah. yeah. Okay, Megan, you gotta get up then. Cause I don't know, I can't see yeah. it. I think it went under the thing, but I don't see it anywhere either. All right, rolling for the cover of the dice. Yeah, rolling, oh. rolling for performance check on your theme song. Um, where that's the fuck is performance? <laughs> uh, I think near the end, isn't it? Under the beat. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, no, your theme song is bitching, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you guys continue on, yeah, you notice on the wall there's like a, a couple little maps sectioning off, you know, like which part of the manor that you're at and such. So you know the way to get back to the to the room, to the treasury. Sweet. So they're going the normal way and not coming up in from the outside? Mm -hmm. No, they're taking, out. <laughs> yeah, no, they're taking the service quarters down. And as you're walking by, like, you notice there's like a couple other, like, people. There's like some long, lanky elf or, and uh, was it there's... You haven't really seen this type of creature before, but they quickly pass by and they look like they would be a uh, furbolg. Actually, no, Barakos would know. Yeah, no, furbolg. Full grown this time. Yeah, they're just like people like passing by. You just kind of <laughs> Sorry. We had another kind of. Like, you didn't roll for stealth, you rolled for performance. So. Yeah. No, it. She was reacting have, to the fur bomb. I have personal issues with that moment. <laughs> Mostly just, you know, a child being beaten to death. It was The child wasn't a fur bog, was it? Yeah, it was. It was a fur, bog. Was a fur bog oh. child. I forgot that part altogether. I thought, my brain just don't think I'm half funny. disgusted, half impressed. <laughs> Side note, listeners, thank you for Both still listening to us after that incident. Yeah, yes. we're, we're actually quite impressed you're still here. <laughs> we love you. Give yourselves a good old pat on the back because honestly, they they. I remember Keo one day can't leave. Keo cannot leave, and, and she might be in trouble. They know where I live. They know where I live. But yes, thank you, our wonderful chicklets. Is that what we should call you? You guys, our fans, our chicklets. I feel like there are some people who will not appreciate being called a chicklet. <laughs> Your chicklets in my heart. Anyways, as you guys continue on, yeah, I know there's a few servants like noticing you guys walking by, but kind of just. You guys are already here, and you're not, like, hiding or anything, so they kind of believe that you're meant to be here. What about our critlets? I like that. Critlets. Critlets. Our critlets. critlets. Oh my god, you know, we are critlets. Yep, we, I love it. You are now our critlets. Okay, vote vote now at hashtag no. chicklets or hashtag critlets. Oh, no vote. Critlets. <laughs> Sending out tweet now. <laughs> <laughs> we have decided... All of our loves. Oh, all phones got pulled out. Well, <laughs> Except for mine, I'm because I'm not good. in charge of the Instagram, good. she's in charge of the Twitter, and she's right. We, we, that, we have that, decided yeah. our beloved is gender followers. Neutral, right? like, yes. Yeah. I will get one of Caitlyn, because she's the one who, you know, dubbed Critlets. I don't even think I want, yeah, the filter makes it look scary. We're going to go with the filter. <laughs> Like makes her darker lines dark. <laughs> oh, and there's her normal, right? Okay, enough. Breathe, Caitlin, breathe. I can't breathe through my nose. I can tell. I know, it's a tiny nose, but it's, it's supposed to be bringing oxygen in. You should be bringing drinking some tea instead of juice. Yeah, here's the tea. normal picture. You understand why I say it looks scary with a filter? 
Put the filter on anyway. <laughs> right, I'm not. I'm not gonna, you know, terrify our people. Even though I just leave my face open. Okay. <laughs> are, are we putting down some words? Are we still recording? Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay. Stop that. We, we have decided that our beloved followers are now dubbed Critlets. <laughs> On a plane, uh, yeah, just way to like, bear birds. Like, sometimes the let's be, I'm like, chicklets is a cute name, but yeah, like, you want, you want, you want to be. Chicklets and critlets. Traveling with the devil at my back. <laughs> a chip monkey <laughs> in my pocket. Don't say. <laughs> and a very strong woman by my side. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the bonus content of Chicks with Chris. <laughs> I swear we're gonna have a CD of literally just us randomly singing random shit. I should have hit record earlier, because these two started singing at each other again. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> we're in the dark, okay, but... Now that we're back... There's a wind in my hair! <laughs> Chocolate if you don't know, Double at My Tail is referring to Nowhere slash Baragos. She has a Duncan in her eye. Zaru, you have to come to Mom. Come here. Don't, don't, not over the table. Under the table. <laughs> Watch her legs. Uh, I will pause this now. Okay, so Iron Mesh Barracos. I need... Actually, Iron Mesh, I need you to roll perception for me as you guys are getting closer to where the treasury was. Perception! 18. Ah! Very ah, great. great. And I have a zero in wisdom, so that's awesome. <laughs> But no, as you're walking, eventually you get to the door of where the treasury should be. Or just outside where it is. The servants' tunnels don't go exactly to the treasury, but just outside of where it should be. You notice there's a couple little scratchings in the wall. Some thieves can't. Say! Does it spell Fenris misspelled again? It is this way to treasury. And then just a little... And then Femris. Just just quiet it just lightly scratched in there. Correct spelling or the wrong spelling? The wrong spelling. Femris was the fem, wrong one. Fem, okay, yeah, I yeah, think it's Because there's yeah, it looks like I think you said it's like it's two ends, but they look they're so close together it looks like an M. Yeah. Basically. And I don't think there's two ends in Femris to be. There is not. Yeah. It's spelled intentionally wrong. Yes. Which yeah. is pissing me off. Ooh, angry mesh. But yeah, so now you guys, there's, yeah, I know there's a door in front of you, and so now you'll have to enter into the main house. I just walk out. <laughs> yeah, no, Iron Mesh just walks straight out. Inside job. <laughs> and as you do, you just walk out. What are you doing, Bart? Are you following after her? Well, I have to babysit the brat. Is <laughs> <laughs> that I'd like you to roll another performance check. Actually, both of you. Performance no, check? deception check, actually. <laughs> deception? Yes. Yeah, they are technically just you. Uh, I guess. 16. 19. 16, you both walk out. You're confident. You've just suddenly walked out, and there is, uh, was it a guard standing in front of the treasury and just kind of looks at you both? At ease, soldier. Uh, at ease. <clears throat> Official business. <laughs> Official business for what? To relieve you of your duty. <laughs> Are you guys new or how? You came from the servants. How did you get in here? Who are you? That's a very good question. You're a very smart, man. Thank you. <laughs> Roll for seduction. <laughs> <laughs> Do it Are again. Are you gonna try to seduce him? <laughs> It's an Iron Mist. Yes, she is. She grabbed her dice as soon as Megan said it. Do <laughs> it. Yes. We all know what's happening. She Join this another one. One guard Maybe for you, one like for Barakos. Persuasion, I guess, I'm going for it. Roll and add your charisma. She's trying to seduce you, too. 22. Wait, Nat? No, not Nat. I got okay. an 18 plus 4. Thank well, you. we all know that if she tried to seduce Barakos, it would be like an immediate fail. Not, not to one, have to get an one guard for like her, and then you well, get a guard. You wouldn't be... Seduced. You'd be just harmed by her, but yeah, no, yeah. no blame from what happened. But no, the guard, he's kind of like looking at you. He's actually, uh, he's like, oh, well, it's nice to uh, meet you there, ma'am. Uh, hello. He's just kind of a little bit distracted now as you're... I'm just staring at him, one eyebrow raised, <laughs> as I'm kind of motioning to fire class. So, you guys are here for some kind of job? 
I'm not a rogue! <laughs> but you have the ability to turn into a hiss hiss death snake. Hiss hiss death snake? You would probably notice that. Yeah, I know. Like, so what do you. So I, I put my arm around his shoulder. <laughs> oh, I can't stand you in here in the servants' quarters! And this iron mesh do you think oh, she no! <laughs> Barakast is gonna put his <laughs> arm in between the two and push iron mesh away. Please ignore her. Uh, we are here like on official in business investigating for the Lord of this mansion. Oh, is that what you call manor, it? I think so. Manor? Yeah. yeah you're, you're on official business? Who let you guys in? Or the dwarf's name? Just the dwarf's name. You know. remember, I know, but Doth His name is Doth Hoth. He's just a dwarven fellow about yay high. I was a massive boner for this one. Doth sent you? Oh, over there. Oh, okay. I guess so. You're on official business, right? What are you guys. Oh, hey, it's an uh, Iron Mesh. What's it? So, what exactly are you guys investigating? He kind of leans up against the wall, staring at you Iron Mesh. Can I roll the cough block? <laughs> You call her your wife in front of my wife. My wife is clearly drunk. Oh, you have to do it. Roll me at twenty. Would that be deception? Would that be deception or persuasion at that point? Yeah. No, I just want to know what the number is. The straight number. Number. Yeah. Number. <laughs> Thank you. What is the number? Seventeen. Seventeen, guys. And when he kind of pushed away, you're still you're kind of standing in front of her. Right in front of her. Yeah. Officially caught up there. Yeah. So. Please ignore my wife. It's like his face kind of like drops off. Apologize, sir. What? You and your charming wife. Investigators, yes. Investigating what for the Lord now? Or All of the robberies that have been happening. He's, he's been oh, yeah. Do you want to. Um, okay. So, uh. Do you have any information surrounding the events? Well. That you could. Share with us to help us in our investigation. Uh, yeah. Um, sure. Let, let me roll it. As to as such, I remember everything you say ever. It's my dog. It's not a lot. We'll get you it's some good. bloody it's herbal a two, tea. but that's still that's really bad. bad. That is pretty bad. But yeah, he like kind of opens the door to the treasure for you guys, and it's been like repaired and everything. But um, as you guys enter it, you don't know, see like construction's gone on. It doesn't look as awful or scratched up as it was when you were there last time. There's a little bit of gold. It seems there's like another chest and stuff. There's a few more things going back inside. But, um, Iron Mesh, I want you to make another perception check at advantage this time. Um, that'd be a 15. Okay. Uh, you notice there's, like before, there was, you know, Febris written that down instead of like just claw marks that everyone thought it was. You know, and you notice again it's it's lower on the wall but it's been slightly scratched. It was a good job. And it matches the, what was in the hallway and that actually matches what was scratched on the walls too. <laughs> good same job. Same time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it also <laughs> says that now it's there northern at uh, north. In what direction is the bakery? The bakery was east. Yes, yeah, you said yeah, east. No, the bakery was east. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah, no, it says north. I tell him. I tell him what I see. And that scratching <clears throat> actually looks pretty new. It's in the new walls. He said you were his wife. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. <laughs> this uh, is what this is saying. Yes, honeybee. <laughs> are you using are you using the smooth bar across boys for that? Yes. <laughs> you know what to do? Yeah. Performance for me. Eighteen. Eighteen. What is this thing called? You didn't even know bar across could sound like this. But the the guard he's kind of like watching you guys with his hand down the clues or clues, clues. Should I leave you alone or <laughs> I say we're fine, and I slammed the door in his face. Oh, did they just okay. act in there? No. Okay, just out of ass. But yeah, that's what you—that's what you found in there so far. 
his good job. And there was no, there's nothing else. Yeah, and it's in it's in the walls. Can I explain that to you, husband? <laughs> You guys don't know where the ogres were sitting. Well, no, because what's his face said they're, that's where they were. They showed up a few days ago. Yeah, so be sure about his head. You know that the north side of the town is very good for, well, not exactly the most important people. The town's pretty well off, but that's where. Yeah, that's where I went. That's where you went. What time is it? Now? But it is right. It is night. Like midnight, after midnight. No, it, it, it's a bit before uh, midnight. Shall we go check out the north area of town? Too smart we would reconvene with our uh, party members. You guys do know that they're headed to the bakery. Okay, well, why don't we we'll go to the bakery? Yeah, and actually speak of the bakery. That's where we're going to head now. And Greg's actually wearing the red part of her <coughs> right now. And I'm wearing my awesome helmet with the red feather. It's ridiculous and it's like flowing in the. In the this is what I wrote the room for it. Yeah. It's like three feet long, so imagine to stand up super straight, but it's like rolling just so when the owl comes back and asks him to take me down. Kyo just looks. She didn't say it, say it, say it. She's thinking it. Are you looking at it? He he turns to you and is like, I can see in the dark with this. Dark vision. Don't eat the feather for better. I I do. Uh, (laughs) What is the range of the dark vision? It gives you 30 feet of dark vision. Okay. No. It's handy. Yeah, no, naturally, was, I think natural people, they would see 60 feet, but yeah. it was the drag force first enchantment. So 30 feet is better than no feet. And yeah, no, as you guys are walking down, this is, it takes place a few hours ago. Um, As uh, we're walking down, I do tell them, like, my interaction with the uh, person. Yeah, how he acted so strangely around keel blaming. So... He thinks you're with someone else. That means there's another version of you. No, you're not people. me. No, no, no. What you are, there is another one, is what he told you. My he creator, no, he basically. Told, no, he said that there was a dwarf woman. Yeah, a dwarf woman. But if he's assuming that she's with the dwarf, okay, why did It was the blue. Yeah, on the forehead. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the helmet, which I did not wear well there. Yeah, no. And I switched my blue jacket. my blue robe with my white robe. Okay, so you're not wearing the white robe. Yeah. It's like, ah. Uh, so I basically just need to, I just said that I just came back after, like, what was it, like a week out? Um, yeah, no, it's, yeah, just like over a week. Yeah. Just like a week. It's like, okay, right, then. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let you talk, do the talk. I just can't do the whole thing. Keo knows what's up. Yeah, you, you showed up now, like, back in the bakery. Keo's kind of hanging back a little bit. Yeah. Keo's got your back, he'll let you do the talking. I've got the jar. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a knocker or if it's wood, but it is. No, it's an open door with a glass window and it says closed. Okay, well. Yeah, as you knock on the door, you hear like a voice that's like, hold on a moment! And the man from earlier shows up and he opens the door. Hello, may I help you? The back of the head. Ah, shit. We're, we're closed. Yeah, I'm aware of that. He was asked to talk to you about this. Holding up the cookie. And he just like kind of stares at the meat. Why is it moving? That's what I'd like to know because it was found inside your shop after that theft. Outside the shop. It. That's what I just said. I, I heard inside, sorry. Well, we're here to investigate it, but apparently you turned my friend away, so I'm here with you instead. The blue one. And he like kind of looks at me, sees you. He says that he wasn't here before. <coughs> When he stopped by to see you, yeah. he looked around, and he found this. And he just kind of like looks over at you. sure that you, you weren't with this weird dwarf woman? Did you see him with her? No. Then why would he be with her? We had the same jam. Yes. Are you telling me that there is no other possibility of someone else like him through the blue stone? And he's just like suspiciously looking at you and come in. I apologize for earlier. Apology. I don't. I don't say that, but I just not. He, he opens the door and looks at My name is Jeremy, by the way. <sighs> so like about a week or so ago, work and woman shows up looking for work. I could always use a few more people. I thought that she was a woman, but she's a witch. 
She was absolutely a witch. 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 Oh! Really? As they're hey. talking, Kyo will lightly look around in case there's like any other investigation, because she's doing all the talking. No. Okay, roll an investigation. Which? Okay, so what exactly do you Continue, please. During the day, she would bake regularly. Everything. Uh, cookies, bread. Nineteen. Okay. Cookies, bread, delicious rolls, cinnamon stuff. It's just little connections. It was really good, but at night, I caught her. It was... I thought that she was making some more cookies. That's what I had asked her to make. It seemed to be fine, but then I started, like, she was staying up late to finish some more cookies for the next morning. I went to bed, but then I started hearing. So there was, like, strange chanting, and then I saw blue lights, and I came down, and there she was, standing over a baking pan. With a little, little man, it stood up, and it was glowing, and it reached out to her, and I swear I could speak. And then I panicked, and... And she heard me, and there was just this big blue light. There was like an explosion, and then the cookie or the tiny thing is gone, and she's bursting through the window, running away. And and then since she's been gone, I've been hearing sounds running around in the middle of the night. So nothing's been stolen? Baking supplies have been stolen. Ever since she left... At night, there's baking supplies that have been going missing. My molasses, my sugars, flour, it's going missing. Ginger? A little bit, yeah. Since that happened, and I don't know. Uh, Definitely a witch. But, Keo, as you're looking around... You remaining feel... silent to all this because I do not want to... Say anything. Yeah. And as you're, like... Gently, like, looking around, you notice, yeah, no, the window is definitely smashed from the inside, so it looks like that's where this dwarven woman jumped out of. And, you know, you can definitely feel a little bit of residual energy. It feels like home. It feels nice and warm. And, yeah, no, you're just looking around, and it looks like it has been cleaned up since then. But as you continue walking, uh, you feel something kind of, like, bounce off your head. Ding. From up or from the side? From up. Right. And another little something. And uh, you look down, it looks like a little blue gumdrop. Two little blue gumdrops are now on the ground. I pick them up. Not the gumdrop buddies! <laughs> I open my little satchel and I gently put them in. Okay. And I make note of where they fell. Yeah, no, and then you're, you're looking up and you can't really see. Oh no, you Yeah, can. I can. You can see it! What would it, what would have been a little shadow is you see there's a little cookie man, a gingerbread man, standing above you, and there's two little white dots on his chest. It looks like something's been pulled out, and as he's standing there, he's got a, holding on to a little candy cane, and he's missing a leg. And he's looking down at I him. have my back towards Red and the Baker, and I go. It nods at you, and and as it does, you notice a really tiny little blue sugar crystal in the middle of its forehead and, and it waves as, at you and nods. As I bring my hand down, I immediately point you outside. Like it turns to the and it nods. So I excuse myself, I'm gonna check the perimeter, see if there's anything come up in and as I am, I shoot red like somewhat of a you look. You can't make a look. I know, but I'm like I'm gonna go outside. I can't do that. It is like that's just it. He can't. To me, it sounds like I'm going to go outside. So I'm going to assume he's going to keep investigating outside. Yeah. Or right. I keep talking to Baker Man. But yeah, no, the Baker. He seems really disturbed. I just I can hear something like maybe little demons running around my rafters at night. And usually call those rats. The guards keep coming over, but they never find anything. I can really freak out. Would you help me? Well, we can try to solve at least, um, finding out who does and get them to stop at least. As in, she just made living cookies, nothing actually bad. It's witchcraft! And the foot inside the jar is like, tink, 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 tink. It's facing towards the door. Tink, 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 tink. Mm -hmm. I'm standing 
Uh, You're already out. <laughs> no, where are you standing? Oh, uh, I was just like, I just leave the door. Do you look at the door the way mm -hmm. the thing? All right, never mind. So I go and I meet up with the uh, the tiny brother. I, 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 just like a, a few minutes pass, and then you kind of like look towards the window, and just outside of it, you see like a little 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 leg sticking out, and a can, and then all of a sudden, plop, the little gingerbread falls down. I help so he him has up. No candy cane, he just kind of like looks up at you. I go and I offer my hand for him to sit on. Are you my brother? Yes, I am your I am your brother. May I have my buttons back? I go I open the satchel and I just turn the corner so it's like not ridiculous, yeah, so but I open yeah. it up and I just give him back his little buttons. Yeah, now that you can get a really good look at him. Yeah, he's got a little blue jewel just like yours does. I gently take my helmet off and show the blue jewel on my head. I am happy I have a little brother. No, he reaches up towards you. Do you know where Mother is? No, but I think we can find them together. I need... My leg is missing. I found your leg. We'll wait till my friend comes out, and we'll see about reattaching it. Oh, thank you so much! Like, it just kind of, like, hugs your, your hand. And yeah, my thumb? Right. Yeah, and your <laughs> thumb. Down the freaking baker. Yeah, so he's like, would you... It's horrifying, but would you stay the night? Just see if we can figure out what's here. I can, uh, yeah, I, I can pay you about 20 gold. I basically, uh, That's what I need. I need to get rid of whatever demon is left in this house. <clears throat> How about this? How about you go back to the inn that I'm staying at? You can stay in my room. Just tell Orson I sent you. Orson, oh, okay. Uh, Orson. What, is, what is your name? Yeah, Orson. What is your name? There's her, there's her, like, wow, I actually have to give my name again. <laughs> She's wearing the red. Well, you know, he's looking at this red woman, but what is her name? <laughs> There's this tiny moment of happiness. <laughs> it's like, <coughs> most people just call me Red. Red, okay. The baker just kind of, oh, I, I just, just leaves. He like, doesn't even like, go back upstairs to take anything. He's just, I, thank you so much. I turn to, uh, I turn my back against, like, yeah the main street, and I offer my little pouch to, uh, the cookie. So he, he pops inside. Yeah, so he's safe, and I just, like, I just gently tie it, like, securely to my belt, up front, where it's, like, not any chance of me crushing it. Yeah, he's, he's happily snug inside of your thing, and you and see the baker leave. who has ridden Theo, there is no such place as no place to be crushed. <laughs> well... Just you were able to skitter table. with all your legs. I'm taking extra care of my little brother. But yeah, now you've seen the baker leave, so you head inside. It's like, all right. I said, Red. So you have been tasked to find the little demons that have that are skittering around this bakery at night. So you're gonna tell Keo? Uh, probably about to. Uh, come in. I asked the, the ba uh, I noticed the baker left. Yeah, right? he left. I'm like, all right. Red. Um, yeah, Dwarf is uh, the person who created me, and um, I don't want you to get a little freaked out or anything like that, but... Uh, Hello! And you hear that as a little voice pops out, and you see on the side of Kyo's belt is a little cookie sticking outside of... This is my little brother! Bed. Hi! This is my little brother. Do you know, okay, I won't fake. Um... <laughs> No, but you're kind of shocked to see a talking cookie. You remember, she loves to bake and eat what she thinks, right? Yeah. And there's uh, a reason why she had a, you know, roll that. The oh. leg is, like, jumping towards Here, Keo I'll now, that. really hard in the jar. Tink, 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 tink. Oh, okay. okay. We're going to have to reattach Keo? the leg. Keo, first off, sit. Uh, I take the thing off before I sit down and put it on there. Yeah. After I find a secure seat to sit on that will not break. I don't care if it's on the floor. Let's sit. I will sit on the there's floor. A, there's a bench. I will sit on the floor. Okay. He'll probably break under him anyways. 300 pounds, remember, of pure steel. You'll be fine. <laughs> 300 pounds is still 300 pounds. person who made you, please tell me a little bit about them. I would have probably told her just of my mom. Or would you have? Probably. At no point have I been heard anything about it. All right, well, uh... This is the first time our characters actually are having a conversation. Well, I told, I told you on our way here, I informed you that there's a dwarf woman 
Oh yeah, you guys yeah. did hear about but that, but you don't know nothing about her. Yeah. Yeah. That's My mom cool. is a dwarf, and she has patronage of a greater fae. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. May I ask, what what is your mother's um? What's her occupation? Um. She was captain. She used to be captain of the guards. She was a paladin. You didn't know of who yet. My mom was a paladin, captain of the guards. Uh, all I know is she would always tell stories of like this like pretty lady in blue. Your paladin. Yeah. Chanting. Okay. All right. Good to know she's not actually a witch then. Nope, mom's not a witch. <laughs> she wanted to make me. The blue lady told her it's time for a new child. The cookie's staring at you. He's got bright blue eyes. <laughs> Question. Are you the only one that I know of? Thought we were, I guess, maybe interrupted before mom. She grabbed me and we jumped through the window, but I fell out of her hands and I broke my leg. Tink, 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 tink. tink. The leg is trying to get out of the jar still. So, I want to you... find her. Yeah, I'm, I'm first. I gotta cover my first bases here. About the missing baking supplies. I've been trying to make myself a new leg. I'm not very good at baking. Kyo, you owe the baker baking supplies. Okay. Secondly, I can reattach it. <sighs> the little cookie kind of slides off of Kyo's leg and starts. Well, actually, no, he can't. I'm he holding him by my hand. Cane. Okay, I'm, I'm holding him in my hand. Kyo's palm. So my candy cane is in the window, by the way. I need it to walk now. <laughs> yeah, let's, we're gonna go over here, and we're going to borrow, and I'll have to leave some money for him for that, and fix your leg. Can you reattach it with blue frosting? Blue is the best color. I'm gonna have to look around for that, aren't I? Yeah. There's you can do like an dye. investigation. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> Plus, I do know my way around the bakery, so I'm hoping that counts for something. You know, do it at advantage. Advantage? You're right, you did used to work at a bakery. It was kind of her thing. Um, I don't think it's going to actually help me much. Uh, need investigation, <laughs> intelligence, so a 12 help. You rolled again, and you... That's, 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 that's my advantage. Yeah, you're able to find uh, where the icing is, and a nice... Royal blue icing. Like, all right, the little gingerbread man. He's lying on a pan, waiting for you now. Have you taken his leg out of the jar? It's like, it, there's, there's, can you stop moving? My leg just wants back to me. Tink, 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 tink. If it keeps wiggling, I'm gonna end up attaching it to your face. You gotta let it out of the jar. Oh, let it out of the jar. I feel like it's gonna run away. Okay, I'm going to attempt to let it run into my hand when I open the jar. The little foot, yeah, no, it jumps out, and I guess it lands in your hand, but then it flips off. Like, actually, let me see. The heck are you? Natural 20. It flips, it bounces off your hand uh, like a springboard, and it lands right, like, neatly against the body, just tucked right there, just waiting for the that icing. Mm -hmm. Hey, she's going to sit there, take her time, and carefully place the icing so it sticks. Like, just don't move until it hardens. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Lastly, Kyo, mm -hmm. I need you to go out and find rats. Okay. I get up. Uh, do, is there like an empty sack around? Uh, you you look around and there is like a flower sack. It has a little bit of flour left inside of it. You could probably take it. And there's actually there's the empty ones on the window. That he's used to cover the broken glass. I'll take the one with the uh, flower still inside okay. and probably just try and use it as bait. <coughs> Alright. Greens and whatnot. Brother, are you leaving? I have to go do this, uh, little brother, but she is a friend. She'll take care of you. Of course, I shall await your return. And the gingerbread man just kind of. He's sitting up now, just kind of looking at you, Red. Why do you need rats? Somebody's been stealing his ingredients, and he wants a culprit. Uh, and he's been hearing you walking around his place. Wow. And he thinks you're a demon. I am not a demon. I am a holy relic. I am a holy warrior. I will fight <laughs> for the world and spread the blue. And so, since that is the truth of the matter, we are going to put the blame on rats, which are common and can be found in bakeries. We just need to find a hole that they could have came in on. Hmm. I'm guessing if you've been running around, there's probably a few 
Yes, there are. And he stands up now on his leg. A few minutes have passed. He kind of like stops it. I will go and find them. And with like a blink of an eye, he's suddenly running off. You just way faster than you think a cookie could run. I'm just not going to push for this. And nope. he, he's just zipping around. And within like a few minutes, he comes running back up to you. He quickly skitters up your, the back of your cloak up to your shoulder. I have found the perfect hole. It's just over here. And it, like, guides you over. It's like, twirling. My brother is adorable. Oh, yeah. All right. Another thing I gotta tell you. Yes? You can't let others see you. Hmm. Okay. But what is a tiny justice warrior to do? Wait, I have a request. Oh, no. My candy cane. I don't need it anymore. Could you craft it into a weapon for me? <laughs> he looks at you with his dewdrop blue ah. eyes. <laughs> but you feel like and you feel over. magical energy. It's he, by the he window. He said. the window, and actually, I used it as a hook to get down on oh, the floor. Ah, go get the candy cane. Thank you. Do. I wouldn't put it Does in your mouth. Does the cookie know about germs? He is a cookie only born a few days ago. I don't think so. Okay. You know what? Let's roll for intelligence. He does not know about germs. So I'm going to make a candy dagger. The best way we all know how. Candy cane shake. Yep. Candy cane shake. Coming right up. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> You've... Uh, <laughs> It's well. It's either that or I try and, for me. If, I, if I try and tip, chip away at it, I'm just gonna snap the thing. Yeah. It's, yeah. I need a dexterity roll from you. Dexterity. See how dexter dexterous your tongue is. Exactly. <laughs> I almost said performance, but no. <laughs> you I'm know just wondering what? if it's an advantage. You know what? Dexterity like or performance, whichever is higher. Okay, we'll go with that then. Wait, when they she does have a husband. Thing, I do have a husband. So that's why it's kind of like... Mm. Phrasing. <laughs> Meanwhile, what do I roll to go get rats? Did I lose, like, the water bottle? Oh, um, I want you to roll a survival key. Alright, survival. Uh, that was 21, my natural. You make the perfect candy cane shank. Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure I dry it. <laughs> that would be a 19. 19? You do find some rats rooting around in the back for some garbage. And you and you manage to scoop them up pretty quickly. You're surprisingly agile. Yeah, you've given the little cookie his, uh, his little candy cane That's shank. He's, it off. Yes. he's, like, really happy about that. I'm going to bring the face. rats back. Yeah, and Ke just in time for Keo to arrive. I got his what is requ rats. required. Just, um, yeah, we'll just have to stay here till morning. Why? Why? Why are we in here? Why? It's like, shut up or I'm going to clobber you all. Please, if you can hear us, help us, help us. I'll say it one more time. Be silent and I won't kill you. I'm <laughs> just like the sack, like, kind of stops moving. You have about four rats inside. I'm going to take uh, Best part about ready? that? She's making a promise. That's nothing to do with flower costs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a, uh, is there any, like, oats or anything in the bakery to feed the rats to calm them down a bit? Yeah, you'd be able to find some stuff yeah. like so that. So, I, I just, like... But roll... Uh, no, no. Like, yeah, I don't open it up big. I just, like, hold it yeah, like that. Yeah, oats in there. Just like, num, 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 num. Yeah, just to keep them quiet. That they're, they're happily eating. And, uh, Keo can't ginger. hear this, but he just wants to make sure they're fed. Yeah. That and the gingerbread man. You see him standing tall and proud now. He's got a candy cane shank. <laughs> we can protect justice together now. <laughs> and spread the word of the blue. Indeed, little brother, indeed. I wish to go to the church. This is my hometown. I will protect it. Would you help me, brother? In the morning. In the morning, yes. Okay. And then I realize I will have to drop him off at the church, explain a bit, and then I have to go and do my job. <laughs> yes. You do. When oh. you find a mother, give her my regards. I shall, little brother. I will protect the city with my life. I'll just go to sleep. Don't let the rats get away. No. Um, basically, I'm holding on to them. Is there like an empty barrel I could just put them? Because they're going to chew their way there's out of this bag. There's not going to be an empty barrel in the bakery. No, there's no empty barrels, but... So, can't we just let them out in the bakery? 
No. No. They're the they're covered in flour right now. They're all <laughs> and such. And they have oats on them too. Yep. They would leave a nice little trail. Wink wink. That's nice. Fine, I'll have a chat with the rats. They have to go back in the bed invisible for the guy in the morning. There's a reason for it, trust me. They they look at you and like shiver. Okay, we'll stay here until morning. Can we eat anything here? Let's see, loaf, loaf, cookies, puts on the ground. <clears throat> and they like go to town, and they have promised that they will stay there in the in the bakery. Uh, Keo will stand, oh, will sit and meditate by the door with his little brother. You guys are gonna spend the night in the bakery. Yeah. Yep. All right, and actually, back w at uh, the the inn, Iron Mesh and Barakas. I'm gonna come back to this other way. <laughs> you guys are back there. It's we were going companion. to the bakery. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, oh that's right. Hey, we're coming <laughs> Before here. we leave, I'm making a sleight of hand and a stealth check. Okay. What are you doing? Taking some. I'm a thief. What do you think I'm doing in a treasury? Rob from the treasury. Okay. I'm taking some. So what so, is your sleight of hand? My sleight of hand is 26. 26? Sorry, yeah. 24. 24. And then my self is an 18. Yeah, no, with you popped like the, the little treasure and you grab a quick handful of coins and stuff them in your bag. No one notices. And then we just kind of walk out. Yeah, alright, yeah, and you walk right past the guard and say, hopefully your investigation went. Well, and he kind of like looks at Barkas and good night, sir. Then looks to you, good night, madam. Everybody stands back. Salute and a wink. Uh, he kind of like blushes and then he continues <laughs> to stand in attention in front of the door. <coughs> you guys head back to the servants' quarters or into the servants' uh, yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. So you guys quickly make your way back down and find yourselves into the kitchen again. Yeah, we just head out. See Doth on the way out. Yeah. Do you give him back the key? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely like, yeah, I'm glad you guys' investigation went well. Yeah, yeah. and he just like, lets you guys go and like, doesn't even think about the key. We'll see you later, small man. See you later, beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah, we have a key. Yeah, so you guys are going to head over. Well, so we're headed towards the bakery, right? Uh, the bakery's in the east, which we're, uh, but the sign said is the north, but you guys wanted to reconvene. We wanted to reconvene, yep, yeah, so we're going to head towards the bakery. Yeah. As we're walking down towards it, this street is very dreary. Oh, I wonder yeah, if it's cold. <laughs> and the, the, the night's actually quite warm. It's slowly getting back into summer, leaving the spring behind, but no, a lot of people actually <coughs> aren't out right now. Please tell me someone got my joke. Yeah, yes, I did. We all did. I said the street was very dreary. Dreary, yeah. we get it. <laughs> As you're getting we all no one reacted. got it. Come on, you guys. Because we were all expecting it. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't are... actually. But, yeah, but that's because my brain dumb. <laughs> no, your brain, your brain, your brain is on, you know, medication. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Right Cold now. medicine. Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> I think you're say it. Everyone else oh, yeah. they are laughing. We didn't. <laughs> but yeah, you, as as you make your way towards the bakery, it is very dreary out. So you find it's, it just suddenly the weather changes. And the lanes very are lovely. Dreary. Very lovely. And actually, um, as you guys are going on, then you just see Keo quickly like get inside, and he's holding like a sack of something. Oh yeah, then now you guys are at the bakery door. That's gonna knock or what? No, we're just walking. <laughs> Iron Mesh quickly walks in, and yeah, and as you guys are deciding that you're gonna be staying here for the night, Iron I Mesh and Barakos walk in. I hold uh, my little brother close. Greetings and salutations! You hear that little voice call out. Suddenly, Dollar, do not eat the cookie! Don't eat my There's brother! Cookies? Don't eat my brother! What? It's a lie. I'm not. I'm not into that. No, no. I point to the cookie that's in my hand. Hold I'm still not into close. that. This it, is it my little exactly. brother. This is my little brother. Again, I'm still not into that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the little cookie just waves to you, and it has like a big smile on his little cookie face. So you guys had an adventure, it looks like. Yes. Uh, so I make note to my little brother. Don't go near him. He is an angry cerulean. Don't go near him. Hello, angry cerulean one. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> hmm. It, it, like, it nods towards you. Like, mm. <gasps> I 
Does you like peppermints? Want some schnapps? Yes! You're gonna no. get whatever that is! You're gonna get this no. two-day-year-old cookie alcohol. Which will probably make him soggy. You smell delicious! Uh, no. I don't think uh, schnapps would be good at this time. We need to meditate on your holy duty. I don't even know if I need to eat. Hmm. But yes, meditation is in order! So we go up to the door and just like sit beside it and we just like meditate. Yeah. Make it. I don't meditate yet. I'm just like watching them because I have a sneaking suspicion someone's gonna go towards my brother. Mm, yeah. The little cookie's just sitting there quietly, like closing his little eyes. That's really weird to see a cookie close his eyes, but it does. And he's meditating now on life and the universe. And his holy duty that he is going to undertake. Well, good news. The theft here wasn't so much a theft. It was my birth. <laughs> Suddenly, <You're> meditating. <laughs> You're very bad at meditating. It is the first time I've done this. What is meditating? Sitting very Contem silently. And contemplating. Yeah, he said silently. He makes like the little sound that Keo makes when he oh, shuts Lord. down. <laughs> it's very weird. Oh dear lord. But yeah. Oh well, yeah. So this is what we found out. <laughs> and I tell them everything. Okay, so obvious inside job. Because if it's already there on the new and it's in the servants' passage, you see anyone there who looks well, maybe not as conspicuous as you, but like they could do these scans. Not that I saw. No, oh, you would just see a few servants. <laughs> just a few servants. And... Okay. Okay. And so it said north. Yes. <sighs> Great. The northern side of the city. Ooh. Where all the thieves live. It's probably where they have their hideouts. I've been there already, actually. Yes, Kyo remembers. Anything. It was the day that you guys were handing out food to everyone. Meditating. No, but no, yeah. Kyo's not meditating. Oh, yeah. Cookie is. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you were. Okay. No, I'm sitting down, yeah. but I'm still listening. I haven't meditated yet. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, no, I've been down that area. It's not as bad as you would think. The town is pretty well off. Yeah, but it wouldn't hurt to take a look around. You hear Especially a sudden smaller places. little squeaking. The north side of the city, squeak, squeak. That's where the big people went. Squeak, As they're like hey, happily just tearing apart this bread. Mm. They look up to you. Their mouths are just like stuffed full. Mm -hmm. Swallow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. What big people? The really big ones. Bigger than her. Bigger than her. And they oh. look over at Iron Mesh. Okay, so would you say they're kind of big and smelly and ugly? A lot of things are big, smelly, and ugly. Let's put it this way. It would remind you of rotten cabbage. Beautiful beyond compare. The rat is like just... Okay, did they have anything that you would say would resemble that? Uh, the rat's just completely out of it now. <laughs> He's gone back to eating his bread. It's like, right... So there's some very, very big people on the north side of the city. Right, like, no. <clears throat> do you want to get give us a hand? What do you need? I'll do anything for you. He's holding a big chunk of bread. Hey, Barkas. <coughs> yes. The rat knows where the ochres are. And he wants to help. I like this rat. <laughs> Chewing on the bread. No. Do I transform into giant rat so I can torture it? Well, he wants to help, so. So maybe you can torture get some of his friends. I can definitely uh, influence his friends to help as well. And give the ox some help. Maybe gets back the stuff that was stolen. What time is in the night? Is it? Is it like? It is uh, getting later at night. Right, I'll take. To midnight. I'll let you guys know that I'm going into meditative state. Because I have work in the morning. <laughs> I transform into my alpha rat form. Like, there is a surprisingly buff giant rat standing there because you made the motion of flexing. <laughs> yeah. So there's a very buff magenta rat. It's like, you can't take these particular rats. I with uh, magenta, <laughs> with a little bit of red tips or yeah. red tail. Purple hair. If you can get some on that are probably in the garbage pail outside. And head north. <laughs> By the way, you just watched him, Barakas, get pulled a mission as rat. No, that's fine. Okay. 
So that's the weirdest thing <laughs> we've seen him do. Put back down. And then he goes back to just devouring the bread with his friend. I go on my little Mission Impossible thing. My little rat <laughs> Mission <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you scurry outside and you're, you hear like the okay. sounds of rats in the, in the alley. I almost said hallway. In the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need these more. I don't care about the ones outside. <laughs> but yes, you, so you find a bunch of rats happily eating through the garbage and stuff outside. So go steal back everything with the rats. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we are calling. That's the one other rat that came to himself. But outside Barakas, the super buff alpha rat that he is now. You find them happily scarfing down some garbage. Maybe a couple of them are wondering where their friends went. <laughs> okay, boys. Gather around. They look over at you. What's up? I have a mission for us. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the new boss of the area. Uh, okay. Roll for intimidation? <laughs> yes. Intimidation, I get a plus six, so that's a 24. They stand at attention. <laughs> Little rat army. What's up? Okay, we gotta go steal stuff from these really, really, really big people so we can make their lives very, very difficult. It'll be fun. Is it their food? Food and a bunch of other stuff. We can steal their food as well as other stuff. Hell yeah! We need to get as many of our guys as we can. So if you knew other rats in other areas, we need to gather them. We believe in your charisma! And the rats kind of scatter away. It's a swarm of rats. <laughs> Several swarms of rats. Rats are not the sign of pestilence or plague. It's the sign of thieves <laughs> and thievery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and about, like, maybe ten minutes pass. And then, Marcus, you begin to hear... It's like, stealing, stealing, stealing. Just as, like, about, like, 50 rats have suddenly showed up, and you hear, like, a woman shriek, like, in the distance. <laughs> oh! oh There's just, like, 50 rats suddenly swimming around. I promise, I'm not playing a rogue this time, I swear. <laughs> yeah, they all look at you expectantly. Okay, so, we need to go to the north end, which is that way somewhere. And there's these really, 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 really big people. And the really, 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 really big ones. The really, ones. really ones, yeah, that smell really good. Oh, yeah. We need to steal everything from them. Everything. And then return it to this alley. We will eat all of it. All of the food only. All of it, okay. Only food. Only the yummy stuff. Yes. Okay. Everything else we need to bring back here. Okay. <laughs> like the rats begin to not and you're, you're leaving everyone with your rat army. Yeah. You read outside, you begin to hear like like he like hop two, hop two It's like you just hear their tiny little voices and you look out and literally you can just hear the little rats all heading. And they're all in formation. What's, what's even funnier <laughs> is as they go through the city doing this, they're going to attract more rats. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> There's red doing the huh. Barkos. I should have thought of fighting orcs with rats years ago. <laughs> I tip my glass to you. <laughs> and you guys are I now... I had a different sense. No. <laughs> yeah, now you guys are standing in the bakery. What do you guys want to do? Are you guys going to head to the north side of the city as well? Because rats are good, but there's, you know. There, there, there's, so, do you want to go watch the rat army? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Keel will you take that. care of... Oh, Keel will keep this place safe. Yeah, I know that, but I'm like, I'm debating if I should stop by and tell the baker his problem solved. I can wait till tomorrow morning. We'll be back before Keo wakes up anyway. We 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 we'll, we'll follow the rat army. Yeah, four hours. Well, technically join their ranks behind them. <laughs> so red and iron mesh, you step outside into the night, and by like the moonlight. You see a massive like swarm of rats, surprisingly organized. Heading down the street, and in front is your buff rat friend leading them northward. Her <laughs> buff rat friend. Wait, this is just one of those things. If we don't go to see it, we're gonna regret it for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and so, I want Iron Mesh and Red. I want you guys to make uh, dexterity saving throws as you see them quickly dart into some alleys, and there's like a fence, and they they go under a hole through it. But so you guys are gonna have to follow them throughout the city. Actually, wait. I don't. I don't need to do that, Chipmunk. 
You turn into a chipmunk? Yeah. Alright, so you turn into a chipmunk and start running Iron Mesh. Fourteen. Oh, it's like, well, seven, Fourteen. Nine, you can take <laughs> off after the minute. Wait, I'll clear all the fence. Yeah, you're you're easily able to follow the swarm of rats, and yeah, and you notice it's getting bigger and bigger as you're making your way over to the north side of the town. <laughs> Would you riding a rat? <laughs> um, roll charisma. <laughs> uh, right. Jeffrey, me. Jeffrey, my friend needs a ride. Let her ride you. Okay, oh, little chipmunk trying to keep up with the. <laughs> I'm not into chipmunks. <laughs> we got Jeffrey the rat. All right, he lets you jump on his back. Joffrey. Joffrey. Oh, that's worse. That's better. I like Joffrey. that. I just finished the first season today. <laughs> poor soul. No, I'm re I'm rewatching it all in time for April. Still, you poor soul. I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm re- I'm re- uh, I'm on Joffrey. Damn. Yeah, you guys are like making your way rather quickly to the north end and Iron Mesh. Uh, I'd like you to roll stealth. As you finally approach the north end of the city, the rats like start stopping in front of a, a rather large was it house? Okay. And this is where they seem to all be congregating. Stealth? Yeah. Fifteen. No one notices you. Yay. You melt into the shadows. <laughs> and I'm guessing because there's so many rats, the street just looks black. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, when did they repave the- OH MY GOD! <laughs> <laughs> you hear like- It's gonna be way too Ethel! late. Ethel! Don't go outside! It's gonna be way too late for that shit. <laughs> yeah, you hear a couple streets- OH MY GOD! And actually, as you hear, oh my god, there's like lights going on in the house. And there's a bit of a commotion. And then one of the rats, uh, was it Joffrey? This is the way inside! It looks to, to you and like leans down to the little chipmunk and jump off. This is the best way! Okay, hole. guys, we need a small little group to cause a distraction. To draw them away and way, way, way out so we can empty the place. <laughs> you got it! You hear a loud crashes, like a couple of dumpsters in the back start falling over and rats start like pushing them down like <laughs> wave a rat from <laughs> the alleyways. And you see, like, suddenly, like, a window, like, shoot open, and a crossbow goes out and, like, shoots towards, like, the trash can. And, yeah, there's just a little hand suddenly shooting out there. <laughs> Wondering, what, and not even looking at, you can't see from where you are what's in the window. But someone's shooting at the trash can. Wait, we can see where the, the hands are. Can we tell if the hand is, mm, you belong to human or not? Cause it was... Roll perception. Yeah, that's what I want to know. 22. Uh, perceptions under what again? Wisdom? 16. It is a small hand. Hmm. And actually the arm looks a little bit short, too. Is this, uh, Herb's flashback level of small hands? That depends on you. You seem to hate small hands. <laughs> but you are also a very size. buff rat. An older child size. But yeah, you like, see a couple more bolts are fired off and you just hear like a voice. Go outside! And check it out! Iron Mesh, I want you <coughs> to roll a wisdom for me. Oh, please. Oh, no. wait. Should, I should be doing it, too, because I would recognize that voice. You know, yeah, you roll as well. I got two. 17 without mods. You are distracted by how awesome the rats are suddenly like being. The voice? Eh, yeah, it kind of sounds like a certain gnome that you know. It sounds like it. All, that's All of a sudden you hear is a little rat shriek. Oh fuck, not this little fucking shit! Flashback! Flashback! <laughs> There's me looking at you. I still don't have a purse! Revenge. Revenge. <laughs> All I... Revenge. I can just picture people who don't know that not a druid or speak to animals. <laughs> Basically, yes. It's like, well... <laughs> Okay, men, keep on doing it, but make it even worse. Are you okay? Did you bite? The, did you bite yourself? First one comes out. Have the rats carry him off. Yes. Really bad. Oh, you okay? Did you stab yourself with the chip? No, I bit my lip really hard. Ow. We made a plan. As soon as someone comes out, the rats are carrying him off. Like a wave. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's a, it's a this is more than one swarm of rats here. So, as it happens, a door opens. 
and you hear like the, the same voice from before. Our uh, clay basket, go out there and get rid of them. And as the door opens, you two see a furbog step out, dressed suspiciously, like your friend Iron Mesh. Hmm. Kicking open the door as the rats start to swarm towards this furbolg. Iron Mesh, I want you to roll perception for me. Perception was a precarious plan. Seventeen. What the fuck? Why is this uh, interesting looking creature? I don't know if you've ever seen a furball before, but why are they dressed like you? I run right up to him. Her. Her. And I go, the fuck? And as you do that, some of the rats are a little bit confused because you suddenly melted out from the shadow. And they're looking at you too. Squeak, 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 squeak. And they like start like trying to like uh, r- run up your legs. I'd like both you. That, well, I'd like you to roll a dexterity for me. Guys, the big female is on our side. They're both Go after the little one. They're both big females. No, uh, 15. Yeah. There's them each other. 15. The big you're one able the little to stand, one. but the furbog Goliath. But your guys are rats. <laughs> I'm, talk- are still- I'm talking I'm to the rats. Yeah. But yeah, Iron Mesh, you're able to stand strong as the rats, like, get off of you and they start swearing the furbolg over. The furbolg falls over and is suddenly being carried away by the rats <laughs> with an amazing amount of strength and most of your rat force is gone now. <laughs> and as that, and, and as a clay basket is being dragged away, uh, what is it, an, uh, what is it, an elf is running out? Like a tall, uh, lanky, uh, actually, drow. He is running out. What is it, clay basket? What? And the rats continue to, like, scratch at that. And then you hear, again, the familiar voice. And you've heard it now. It sounds a lot like your friend Emrys. You hear him call out, Regression! No! As the as the uh, drow trips over and is also being dragged away by rats. I'm just watching this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and he is dressed suspiciously like your old friend Regress. You remember him. Your old gang mate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. She's still standing at the door watching them get dragged away. And a bunch of the rats are running. The, the rest of the rats are now running inside of the house, <laughs> led by Red. No, 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 Barca, no. no led by Barakas. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just doing the truck along behind them. I'm enjoying watching this. Barakas, you are now <laughs> we're, my hero. We're storming a castle, <laughs> as Rodin. <Rodos. laughs> yeah, no, and as you're running in and like you're, you're looking around, I want you to roll perception for me. So this is basically the scene from the Cat Returns where they're on that thing of cats <laughs> running. <laughs> Heavily inspired. Yes. However, I didn't think of that. I was thinking five times. <laughs> Perception is a plus three, so that's 22. 22. Do you notice that there are... Uh, <coughs> so, Clay Basket has been taken out. So is Regression, and you notice there's three halflings standing there. One of them has a crossbow. They're the three servants from inside of the manor that you saw in the kitchen before. And one of them, for some reason, is wearing a headband with horns on it. <laughs> it looks surprisingly like tiefling horns. <laughs> and, yeah, and so, like... How the, close together are these three halflings? The three, uh, one of them is standing on top of a chair, leaning out the window with the, with the crossbow bolt. Two of them are on the ground, staring at the rats, and they're like, oh, this is not good. I I want rats. to. Um, you have about twenty rats with you. I want to tell the rest work. of my rats to go after the halfling that's standing on the chair, and then I'm gonna get close to the two halflings sitting on their asses and change forms into a snakey snake and okay. bind yeah. them, hold You're them little... hostage. Okay, yeah. Um, roll a strength check for me. That was in the snake form, it's plus three, so it'd be a 19. And your rat friends get a 19 too. They they knock over the table where the one halfling, or the chair that the uh, one halfling was standing on. <coughs> he is dressed uh, a lot like Emrys. It seems he's been the one shouting out everything out. And then he's like, oh my god, Salamis! Haven, save me! At the one uh, haven with the little weird tiefling horns that are sloppily attached to their head, just trying to like punch the rat, trying to no punch you as a snake, and Salamis is trying to. It's really awkward. I bite his hand. Ah, he like screeches. in rebuke. 
Uh, but, um, yeah, no, with a 19, actually. <coughs> and I want to angry hiss in their face. They are able, that you are able to, uh, grapple them. They can no longer move. Cool. All they then hear is thud. Thud. As this angry Goliath storms into this house. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intimidation with advantage for me. I'm going to make this work. Uh, as she comes in, in the room, I'm going to turn back to her. <laughs> so that is a 19. 19. They are horrified. There are rats everywhere, and now it sounds like a giant is coming up the stairs. Not, not to mention the giant and snake. As soon as she yeah. walks in the, the room, the giant snake. Back, it's a rat. And yeah, as Iron Man, you enter the room, they see like suddenly you're there. This cute little chipmunk bursts into a woman. With a red cloak. Yeah. And I, I look the one that looks like Emrys. Yeah, dressed like suspicious. Who's covered in like rats. Emrys in the eyes, yeah. And I just go, how dare you impersonate us? And I grab him by the collar and bring him right to my face. Do you have any idea who we truly are? <clears throat> oh my god. And then he faints in your arms. <laughs> Like, I attach him to my belt. <laughs> it's like, I, I am you hook him to your belt, and as you look around the room, you notice there's like some papers that rats are starting to chew on now, but they have the fake femris written on it and everything, and there is uh, some sketches that look like you and your old gang on the table. And the other two are still awake? The uh, yeah, the other two are being held by Barakas. All I do is look at them, and I do another intimidation on both of them. Advantage again. <laughs> well, so this is a twenty-two. I will just look at it, and they faint. They do. They they they're just the combination of you and Airlaw. They're just like they're down. They they have completely fainted. Hey Barakas, you think the rats can bring the other two back now? <coughs> Did you bring them back to the inn? Or to the bakery? I told them to bring them away. <laughs> yeah, I go no follow them around. But you, you don't... You can't understand. No. You need to wait. <laughs> the rats just took them on a little trip. We'll call them back. Okay. I need, to, I need to speak to... I need to change back Steel to a bucket. rat. <laughs> uh, I need to speak to Steel Bucket. Clay Bass. Clay Basket. <laughs> <coughs> what a stupid name! I change back into my alpha rat form and tell the rats to bring back the, uh, send out runners to Some bring of back. Them kind of bow to you. <laughs> Dear God! You can't do your you thing! And they, like, run off and, like, a few minutes pass. Barakos, rat Bar cult leader. Barakos is gonna be the rat god. Rat cult leader. Ooh, okay. I am your uh, god. Roll, uh, an investigation for me. In the distance, you hear like two people yelling. <laughs> They're being brought back. <laughs> They're being brought back by rats. Two swarms of rats. Mm -hmm. Um, investigation I'm doing. At this yes. moment, I pull up my daggers. Ooh, yeah. So I've got I've got a fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, you find you know like there's a uh, papers like on the table that some of the rats are chewing chewing on. You see the sketches of Iron Mesh and her old gang. I'm looking for the criminal stuff, the stuff that we could have been stolen. And yeah, yeah, there's like some gold on there, but also you see there's a couple of deeds to some places. It's like there's me looking at the rats. Hey rats, holding up some of these. You see any papers that look like it has stuff like this on it? There's a rat hanging onto a paper by his teeth. You eat it, I kill you. He drops the ground plop. Good. You find any more, you bring them to me, right? Find them. Barbaracos will kill you. It's like, because if I don't kill you, the snake eats you. We find it for our god! And the rats, like, <laughs> swarm out. And they start going, like, just, like, running around. To the entire house? Yep. So we're upstairs. Yes, and okay. you can hear, like, people yelling. I was gonna say, are the fur, is the new, is the fur ball now downstairs in the linen area? Yes, you do hear, like, like All I yelling. do is jump straight up and go through the roof. <laughs> I, jump, I break <laughs> you to the bottom. Give me a strength check. It was advantage for that. I'm going to assume the rest will tell the other rest. That's what we told them. The strength, so that is a 17. 17, you stomp super hard in the middle of the floor. And I go straight through. Yeah, there's a lot I of crap. You go down. The Goliath. 
is pissed. Yeah, you land oh, with and their a buddy's hanging off of her still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. He is hanging on. He's, he's still hanging. unconscious. He hit his head on the way down. He is like, out like a light. Yes. Yeah, and then there you are. And, then and I land on my feet, daggers out, in front of the furball. And the furball is still on the ground. There's rats swarming around them now, like keeping them down, and they're staring up at you. Who the hell are you? The rats have now swarmed. Who the hell are you? The rats have now made a circle around us like a ring. <laughs> <coughs> All right, boys, information. Circle them. Don't let anyone escape. And, and yeah, there's a circle of rats now just staring at you. Ura log, ura log, ura <laughs> log. Who the hell are we? The rats are on a mission for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, who are they? Yeah, who the hell are you? The person you have sloppily impersonated. You're the mesh. <laughs> and I'm about to mesh you the fuck up. Because <laughs> oh. your friend's hanging off her hip. <laughs> The base of Hanek starts, like, banging my daggers together as an intimidation. <laughs> and the rats, like, you hear, pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm banging my daggers with them together. Going on. <laughs> yeah, so, so the rats are still swarming her. Yep, and I'm slowly circle. I'm slowly circling her, banging my daggers. Well, they're, not, well, they're, 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 they're made to the camera away. They're not on top of me. Yeah. yeah, they got off. <laughs> they don't want to die. They're in a, they're in a circle ring. They made basically like a fighting ring around us. Pretty yeah. much. Slowly, Clay Basket stands up and is looking at you. Okay, maybe we can talk about this. Maybe we can talk about this. You dare take the name? And then you see this giant rat go like this. <laughs> <laughs> thumb across the throat. You just picture a small rat. You will receive no forgiveness. <laughs> For ruining the name <coughs> of Fenris, and they are shaking as you say it out loud. Finally, of Fenris. <laughs> Roll for initiative, Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I got a three. Says <laughs> <laughs> there's me rolling upstairs in the sack, you know throwing what? whatever documents the rats bring me. You know what? Yeah, you're just like, yeah, pick it up. You know what? You get to do it as a phantom. Yes! What time is it? No, uh, in game. 19. It's, it's just past midnight. Mm-hmm. Alright, I've got, like, probably, like, three more hours of meditation. <laughs> this is gonna be a fabulous... You're about an hour and a half. You're just, you're just down, you're just down the road yeah. from the place, so... I know. Can you just bang right now? You just hear like bang. And I did leave a note. I forgot to mention it, but I did leave a note for Kyo to know where we are. <laughs> Pinned upon his garb. <laughs> pretty, pr- pretty much. Actually, I put it on top of your You don't like him like it. Like it. So <laughs> I Nineteen at that first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen, and so like yeah, so you start running towards her, and she pulls out her own daggers, and both of you clash at the same moment. Both of you have nineteen. Oh, yeah. So now it goes down to strength test. <laughs> <laughs> mess em up, mess em okay, up. Okay, so then strength test? Yeah. yeah that's your, that's your very first move, yeah. So we'll go strength test, guys. 18. Clay Basket is backing down slightly. You're pushing her back. I push her back to basically where she's now on her knees. Okay. And yeah. I'm pushing her down. Alright, so now you get to attack first. Okay. I basically, uh, our daggers are pretty much together, yeah, right? Yeah, like we're, yeah, you guys are both together right now. I fucking knee her in the face. How oh, smart to kick her. her. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, That's what, what I was it? thinking, right? Sparta kick. <gasps> She's doing it to all the doors. Or the, uh, Highlander thing. 18. There can 18. only be one. Yeah, no, you, you knee her right in the, right in the chest. I know, face. In the, right in the face. Oh, oh yeah. Face. I'm breaking her nose. She did do a cold shot there. You gotta do the finishing move Highlander style, I'm sorry. (laughs) You miss her nose. Fine, hit her right and like the right and along the face. Did she break the jaw? You don't break the jaw. There's a nasty bruise though starting to form immediately. And yeah, no so now she is going to I now I use um I'm gonna use. I think. I think. I think I can use as a bonus action the disengage. You want to disengage? Okay. Like I want to quickly like just back up. All yeah, right. Yeah, that is a bonus. Action. Yeah. Yeah. And then I get right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get ready. For yeah. Whatever. No. And as you're jumping back and after hitting her, it kind of. Lo- she's like off balance as she tries to swipe at you with her own twin daggers. <laughs> it does not work. 
So it is your turn again. Okay, I am going to dash to get behind her. Okay. And put her in a chokehold. Oh! <laughs> sure, yeah, uh, it was a roll strength for me. Okay. Uh, 18. 18, um, yeah, no, uh, wait, let me see. 18, no, 15. <laughs> You managed to grab her from behind. Yeah, you're putting her in her chokehold. And I want to make her pass out. You want to make her pass out? Roll me another strength check. She's good at contesting strength right now. Uh, that one is a 15. She passes out with a natural one. Her daggers <gasps> drop to the ground. <laughs> I'm going to say, I want to whisper before she passes out, you meshed with the wrong Goliath. And, like, she just passes out. You were far too quick for her. I'm pissed off, okay? <laughs> oh, absolutely. There is only one iron mesh in this world. There is. Well, that was all going on. How many papers is there I have to bring <laughs> and throw in my bag? Because I'm sitting there literally with a sack for them to throw it in. Yeah, there's actually quite a, a few papers. They've also thrown in the sketches. There's like a couple books and they're just like bringing it in. You've got maybe about six. And then I actually want you guys all to roll perception. Me too? Yeah. Or no, not you. Yes. Well, it's a delayed perception for you. Okay. Me too? Yeah. I will roll mine after her theirs because it is delayed. Uh, <laughs> 18. Perception's wisdom, right? All I can picture yeah. is a little 13. rats just I'm praising the range. name Iron Mesh. <laughs> so that's 21 for me. 21? Okay, you then, rat god. Alright, then Keo, what's yours? <laughs> perception. Actually, wait, that might be more. I forgot. Hold on my... Eleven. Eleven. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. I guess. Yeah. I guess you're farther away than the rest of them, so you feel nothing. But you, th you three, you hear a loud boom, boom coming outside, and loud voices. A loud voice. What is going on? I would love to see what will happen to them with the swarm of rats. The rats have brought your friends back, and they're currently like in the circle right now. Actually, I'm gonna roll for their fear. They are brave rats and will stand for their new god. <laughs> <laughs> you need a shirt now so that says, I am your rat god. Like all the paper and everything that's been in the house. Yeah, everything in the house. It's not as much as you think it would be. Chipmunk. I want to send Joffrey so out to, uh, to chipmunk with me, so. get intel on what's outside screaming. Yeah, and, and as Joffrey is running outside, he's met with, like, more rats just swarming inside now. The beautiful cabbage people are here! The beautiful cabbage people! It's like, sorry, that was my bad description. You see I'm in Chipmunk again. <laughs> and outside... Okay. Iron Mesh, you see a pair of large legs is standing in front of the door. <laughs> and outside is an ogre. And that is where we're going to end for tonight. <laughs> Barkos has become a god. Who yes, would have thought has. it? And so, in honor of your squeaky followers, keep on clucking! Hey guys, I wanted to thank you guys for listening to the first part of The Sun, the Moon, and What Falls Between. We're going to be taking a little hiatus for the summer, and when we come back full time, we're going to actually be doing a new campaign that Caitlin will be DMing. But don't worry, the sun, the moon, and what falls between will be back soon. Also, during our hiatus, I'm going to be releasing some fairy tale narrations about some of the stories that inspired me to write my campaign. Thank you guys for listening, and keep on clucking. <laughs>